Hello? I made it. Barely on time. I it almost I think we almost passed into the threshold of being late, but we did not. Hold on while I finish getting everything set up. Um I'm not gonna lie to you. Reason I was late. Kinda really wanted to finish watching uh Jury Nuzlocke stream, but I wasn't gonna delay it a second time. So I'm here now. Uh we are on while I was sitting on the uh options menu for Virtue's last reward. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. I think I had it a little too loud. I think the bottom tier of volume I think is maybe the ideal level for this game. But we'll just have to see. Um currently I have nobody to ask, so I'm just going to hope that it's okay. I've got a couple of things uh, that I want to talk about before getting straight into video gaming. So first off, uh, second video release, and it is doing okay. It was a ton of uh, editing uh, alongside the busy stuff, and I was scared while editing it because of the tech issues. But as of today, I'm hoping, I don't want to jinx it because that would be an impressive like level of dissonance. Not dissonance, I don't think dissonance is the word. I was just looking for a word to say. An impressive level of uh, uh, unluckiness. That's definitely not the word either, but that's all I can think of. An impressive level of sadness. Uh, I'm going to make this not play cutscenes while I try to talk because uh, then my brain would get confused. But I think it's fixed because and, and then here there's music anyway, so it's not complete silence. Um, I ordered two days ago. Welcome, Danny. I don't know how far you are into this game, so I assume that like everything that I do today will be uh, stuff that you've seen already. But uh, computer should be fixed, I think, hopefully. Um, two days ago, before stream, uh, before Resident Evil stream, my computer shut down while playing Persona 3, which is not a very heavy game. So I googled the issue, and I finally have decided to listen to what all the top Google results say. And I ordered an extra cable for my power supply. And I finally got that plugged in today. I got it yesterday, but I didn't feel like putting it in. So I'm going to click start. And there should be no issue of thinking that the game might shut down. I didn't read what that said. Uh, 2028 is a much larger jump than I would have assumed. Actually, I don't even remember what year the first game was in, but I assume it's probably just like around when it took place. So like, uh, or around whenever it came out, obviously it takes place when it takes place, but I assume it took place in like 2009. Sigma. Hmm, Og, Ow. BMC doesn't have voice acting, so just become him. Wait, why not? I, I loved Junpei's voice acting. That's kind of heartbreaking. How do I become Sigma? Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. The text is kind of slow. I might turn up the text speed. Where the hell am I? Was disappointed too, but just roll with it. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, obviously I can't go back and say, make voice acting happen. Maybe they wanted uh, people to make their own voices, but Sigma kind of has a face. So it's not like he's going to be a pure self-insert. Looks like Isn't an elevator, but... Oh. Oh. This is weird. This is, like, actually uncomfortable. Instead of sprites, it's just a 3D being. I wasn't ready to get jump scared like that. Right, okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? It's very different. It'll be interesting to see the differences. You'll get used to it. That makes sense too. No response. You'll, uh, you always this friendly or did I kick you while I was sleeping? So true. Sigma probably rolled around the whole elevator. 
Damn, no luck there either, huh? Plenty friendly. Thank you for the late response. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. I don't think she's very happy. It's weird to wake up in a room with like people after 999 was wake up in the bottom of a boat with nobody. Looks like you can talk after all. Let's try this again. Where are we? With the dramatic space. Oh, they move. Hold on. I expected, I don't know, I just expected it to be, like, still models, to be honest. After I saw her just sitting on the floor, but she, like, blinks and stuff. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. So true, Sigma. I'm happy that you could come up with all that off the top of your head. Right, back to the first question, then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. Sigma? No, that's me. Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what. Wait, wait, is Sigma... Sigma is not his real name, right? Is he just making stuff up? Sigma cannot be his real name. Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. Uh, true. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But? But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? That's the fast food worker that uh, has their name tag clearly displayed. How the hell am I they said my to name. Know? How do they know? Jump scare? I just know it, okay? Oh, she's the, the receiver and you're transmitting your name. No need to bite my head off. It's just you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Is this still going to run off of the Shut same up. concepts as 999? Like, am I going to be thinking about the receivers and the transmitters just and the near-death situations Grandpa. and the molecules tingling between each other? Grandpa. I just don't know, all right? It's just kind of there. Like, I Placed in you, there. And some part of my brain just said... That's Sigma. You do give off the vibe. You really give off a Sigma vibe. Hold what on a second. This thing is? I don't know, bro. You only got like 20 hours in this game. Is it 20 hours a lot? I'm confused. She calls you a Sigma male? True. She knows. She took one look to know. Huh? This bracelet? Oh, they recolored them? Wouldn't want See, it to be the exact it. same. It does, it is like the same design. There are a lot of endings, a lot. How many, how many is a lot for you to have 20 hours and say, I've only got 20. I assume you're saying 20 only as in like within Virtue's last reward, right? You're not including 999? They're pretty much identical. True, except mine's going to have a different number, I bet. Three pair are oh do we have like partners in this game? Yeah, you're right. We do. Where'd they come from? I woke up. Just in uh Virtue's last reward, the puzzles are kinda hard too. Oh that'll either be very exciting or like uh scary. Twenty-eight endings. Hold on. Uh, 999 there was only like five or six, right? 28's kind of a jump from that. Well, it doesn't seem like it's a watch, does no, it? It's just doesn't tell the time very hair. well. Hmm, my favorite fruit. Hmm, gah. I don't know. It's weird whenever they don't have the voice acting. Because then I'm expected to go, hmm, gah. But, like, I don't know how to do that convincingly. So my first instinct is to make it a joke and like do it weird but i don't think that's what people want to hear either so uh instead you're left with an awkward hmm ga instead of a hmm ga or a convincing hmm ga which i don't doing? think i have in me at all uh, i'm trying to oh trying to get it Look. off i couldn't tell by the sound effects i thought we were just making it. those noises it's on pretty tight even have a you listen to Junpei, you can try imitating him. How did Junpei make his noises? No, that's not a Junpei, that's just me again. 
I, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Because those, like, um... Those random noises are the the craziest thing because they just write them down and expect you to know how to like not visualize because you know it's not visual but like audibly know what that is how do i know what a hunga sounds like <laughs> ah! you could make my voice like a monster hunter voice uh 27 not even a beep Whenever you're in the create a character. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining or... Hey, look. Or what? There's what? Something on that screen over there. We don't have smartwatches? Wait, what? Oh, that's nice. How are you it looks more like there's a hole in here and somebody's like using this as like a little hand puppet. It's a watch, so true. Welcome, Elodie. I am Zero the Third. The zero the Eight. Third? Did we skip Zero Two? Wait, no, it was Ace wasn't Zero One? He didn't go by Zero, so Zero. So Zero Zero was the first Zero. So, oh, we're missing somebody. Is this why this is so far in the future? What the hell is that? A rat? I don't think so. Pretty sure it's a I'm rabbit. Sure I agree, Sigma. Wait, but I can't just say I agree, Sigma, because I'm supposed to be Sigma this time. It's not quite like uh, hearing Junpei saying something and saying so true, because then it's just the like Obama giving Obama the medal. A game? Because Sigma doesn't have his own voice. I am his transmitter. You stole that one. Ambidex edition. edition. Never mind. It's its own uh, dedicated thing. There's more to it. I don't know what that means though. Ambidex. Oh, like ambidextrous. Like two. Is that? Uh, am I the right hand? And girl is the left hand. Hold on. Who the hell? That would be bad. That would also be bad in my opinion, but it does make things a lot more exciting. And now that we know that we're near death, we can like transmit more thoughts to each other. Yes, indeedy. I like that you keep things lighthearted. It makes me feel more comfortable in the presence of a death elevator about to smash into the bottom of the high floor. See you next fall? That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary oh, school? I get it. Trip, uh, and trick, huh? trip and trick. Don't tell me you're impressed over the love of. You're the one that made the joke, Sigma. You have to accept the consequences. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. This is bullshit. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Oh well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Can I speed up the text actually from here? That would be great. I don't know what arc is. Um, as long as I can just speed stuff up. Never mind, I don't think I can. Uh, I'll just do it later. Come on, just nod or something. Oh, I can just click again and all of it will appear, Let's but I go. feel like it kind of cuts the flow out. Because, you know, like, things can be revealed one at a time through text, and that's usually how it goes. But if I can just skip through, seek a way out. No, no Sigma eyes. The game, the game is, like, less, um, less, uh, personal, I guess, feeling. I Technically more personal because you're the guy. But I don't, I don't connect with, with Sigma like I connect with Junpei. Whenever I'm Junpei, like, I get in my little death situation, we lock eyes, and I feel like we reach an understanding with each other. He looks at me, and he knows that he's going to be receiving some transmissions from my brain as we stare at each other for that, like, half a second between the thing. But here, I don't even know what a Sigma is. And it's just seek your way out? 
it feels kind of sad. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor across the screen. Oh, wait. I can, like, move around more freely. I wasn't reading the instructions because I was like, I've been here before. But this is different. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. To return your normal view from zoom mode, press escape key, drag downward, or click the cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. That makes sense. I uh, already have the key, which is the fire extinguisher pen. That's the fire extinguisher pen. Thank you. It did already say that, just like widely available on the thing. The screen that's just appeared is called the item screen, while on the item screen you can inspect items you found and combine or hold them. To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon which you can find in the top left corner of the screen. The item icon will show whatever item you are currently holding. I wonder if we could bash this door down with the fire extinguisher. I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. The only thing that's going to get extinguished is you. I mean, you would probably come along too, girl. Come on now, that's scary. I feel like uh, uh, we should know the name by now. What do you think this means? Hell if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Uh, it's just the course of the life. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items, instead they'll be put in the file. To look at and review them, just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the tab called file. Uh, okay. Tab called file. Oh, it really is just a bunch of babies and old people. This one has no clothes. Unfortunately, no old people with no clothes. Or maybe fortunately, try counting the number of babies and old people. Well, there's a problem here. Uh, this guy, this guy, uh, and this guy are for sure neither babies nor old people. Um, and this lady, she does look old, but I don't think it's the same kind of old as this old. But we can try counting anyway. Um, one baby, two baby, red baby. Uh, blue baby. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six old people and four babies. That's a crazy family. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. I don't know if I would want to be born like completely broken and shattered and then like at the end of my lifespan my brain begins to shrink and then I shrink and then I don't know what happens after that do you just die as like a baby four babies six old babies actually true because as I started to say that you kind of realize the way that people talk about old people and then once you hit 80 you kind of just go baby mode again where you're like hmm I can't get my pants on anymore can somebody please uh, like tie my shoes or get me out of bed or put me to bed or cook me food or feed me food or anything please provide me with joy there's a key here uh true i've got this fire extinguisher pen but it doesn't look like it'll fit this keyhole probably go somewhere else that makes sense there's a lot more going on here oh uh this end is loose can you take it off let's see I wonder if I'm going to have to put it in the colored buttons under the elevator. I wonder. Uh, yellow? We'll just go ahead and take all of these one at a time, I guess. What's the key doing back there? Probably the handle from some kind of tool. The grip is yellow. Uh, odd. Uh, Philip head? I assume that some guy named Philip, like, made the screwdriver. Oh, wait. I found it. This looks like a case for the fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. No good. Is it locked? Looks that way. Um, good thing I happen to have just the thing for it. I appreciate going straight to the empty slot instead of the thing that would like unlock the thing. This can open. Hmm, looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. Oh. Holly... 
polyurethane packaging. That's what I was gonna say too. There are a few pa uh, pieces of metal in here, four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one is a different shape though. Well, we might as well take them. Triangular tip. A square tip. Pentagonal tip. And hexagonal tip. This is going to be like putting it, putting the circle in the square hole. I think I've already figured it out though. So this should be no issue. Oh wait, uh, four babies. Why did it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So you think this button does something? Don't know. Let's take another look at it. Uh, we don't need to take a look at it. I already know the answer. Six. We've done it. I don't know what we've done, but uh, I think we're good. Okay, return. And now I just need to look at the shapes over here. Uh, blue is goes in the square hole. Not you, not you, not you. I thought we were going the other way. Square socket wrench. Okay. I accidentally tabbed out. Uh, red. What does red go with? Red goes with the hexagon. I need my hexagonal tip. Thank you. Uh, green goes with the pentagon. We're going with the pentagonal tip. I'm going to teach you all about shapes today. This is more effective than any basic uh, third grade classroom. I'm a master. A master at uh, basic math. Cancel. Examine. OMG, you're learning? That's what we're here for. We're here to learn together. Give this yellow one a twist. True, I would have appreciated if you hopped to the next one immediately. Still bolted on, you're not finished. I'm already, like, twisting. What do you want from me? That's the green bolt off. Good job, you're a regular mechanic. I'm a born natural. Uh, square socket. Clicking. There it is. Looks like you got it off. Thank you. It's the one thing that I know how to do. Hexagon. Gone. Got it off. Hexa got it off. Uh, that's the red bolt gone. Ready? I'm gonna open it. There's probably a hand puppet in there. Why don't you, like, participate at all? You're also going to die, lady. There are a number of minigames you will uh, play during an escape. Controls and rules will generally be given to you before a minigame begins, but some start without giving you detailed instructions. I appreciate whenever I looked at the elevator, it didn't say, the elevator is numbered 1 through 9. You will need to click the number that you want to click to have it light up. If you make a mistake, press clear. If you're happy with where you're at, press enter. Like every single keypad did in 999. It was like the main complaint that I had with that game, and I know it's a nitpick thing, but the game pretending like I've never used like even a calculator before in my life kind of hurt my feelings. Controls and rules will generally be given- oh, true, I already read that. If you can't solve a minigame, just quit by clicking the back button in the bottom right corner of the minigame screen. If you keep trying though, the other characters might start to give you hints. Thank you, I needed some of those earlier. They'll only do this when you're playing in easy mode though. What mode am I playing on? So remember, if you get stuck on a minigame, give it several tries before you switch the difficulty to easy. Oh, so I'm playing on the normal difficulty. I assume there's not like a hard difficulty or anything. It's just normal in the mode where they give you hints. It looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. All right, I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, you can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Okay. So this should be like... What the... Uh, phallic shape? Oh! Oh, I see. That's odd. I guess we just have to... We have to have you there, so that I can leave. I'm about to trap you. 
Okay, this is actually gonna, like, confuse me a little bit, as embarrassing as that is. Never mind. Easy. I knew that it was coming. I never doubted myself. Sweet, look, it, I rearranged it in the way that I actually had it. I assume what, what I was supposed to do is, like, put some of the red dudes in there so that I could just slide it that way. This is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. Why do you feel the need to, like, brag about it right now? Something came out of the box. Uh, looking around, uh, in the nursery, I'm a 32-year-old guy picking up the square hole, or the box with the different shape holes, dropping the square in the square hole. Very good. I don't need that. I could do this with my eyes closed. This is kid stuff. What are you doing it for? Well, I guess he has a bit more of an excuse because he's about to die, but I still think it's kind of embarrassing. Memory card? Uh, what does that do for us? Um, did this ever do anything? There were six old people and, uh, four not old people. I've got a green memory card in my hands. Let's see what happens if I put it in. It turned on. Looks like this thing is working now. I agree. Although the screen is just uh, glowing pure white, which doesn't do much for me. Square metal box looks like a safe. Yeah, I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell is so important about a cracker? Okay, how about a tie deposit box? A one? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right. Well, let's give it a shot, then. Each escape room has a safe somewhere. These safes have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with the hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. So they have puzzles in the puzzles. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. Oh, this game also doesn't have the novel and adventure mode, right? It's all actually just one set uh, thing of text. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. That makes sense. Moon, star, sun, back, no luck. You think so? That makes sense. It was interesting uh, with adventure mode in 999 whenever it would switch into novel mode for like dying. <laughs> Let me make absolutely sure that you know exactly how you're getting stabbed. Thank you. Uh, you can put a memory uh, card in here. It's a card slot. Did we already... Oh, different colors. That makes sense. Um, I don't know what to do, though, to be honest. What is this? Is a little panel true? Um, elevator door shut tight still. I guess uh, I wouldn't think that the guy would just open it for me. But there was, like, some hope. Screen is glowing with a strange light. Bottom of the device, it looks heavy. It also appears to be bolted to the floor. I doubt it'll be moving it. Uh, screen is glowing. Uh, the instructions. We already used the key on it. Maybe I, maybe I got the number of babies and old people wrong. Um, I'm gonna look at that again. Maybe it wants, like, all adults as old people and all not adults as babies. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six babies, seven babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight old people, six babies. Eight old babies. Six and eight. I would say that's not correct. Um, I think I'm going to pull that out again. Okay, let me make sure that I didn't just count it wrong. We're going to go row by row.
to uh, do it that way. One, two, three, four, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven old people. I think I just miscounted earlier. It's uh, seven old people instead of uh, six. I said six earlier and I'm really not sure why. Okay. It didn't do anything. Uh, maybe I miscounted again. Um, one. Two, three, four. Okay, one, two. Hold on. Sorry about that. I am back. I don't remember how this escape room is like. That makes sense. Um... I don't know where to begin. Or where to... Oh, okay, that's only one. Um... Approach 80. Maybe it has something to do with this. It said 80 to approach 18, so 7 minus 4 is like 3. That's my guess. Oh... I'm actually insane. What noise? I think it was over here somewhere. The red... the red card? We've got the green card, now we have the red card. Now we only need the blue card. Oh, look, RGB. What? Are you shocked? That I could have that in my head so quickly. I now I just don't know what to do though. Um, we have a blue screen, blue screen of death. Oh, what the heck is this? Maybe it's some kind of password. Sun star star. You got a notepad or something? Not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? Of course. I'm always remembering shit. Good job, Sigma. I knew that you would be the type to remember things. To view it, visit the archive and navigate to the blue pass tab. I don't need to. Each escape- you already gave me the tutorial. <laughs> oh no, this is going to be the notepad thing. Sun, star, star, back. To view it, visit the archive- what? Safe, elevator. We don't have the green, but we do have the blue. Does that mean there's a different green password? What's the- each, okay, I understand. Uh, sun, star, star. Didn't do anything. I don't understand. Visit the archive and navigate to the blue pass tab. That's the babies. Safe elevator. Um, maybe there's something that I'm missing then. Maybe I do have to get the blue before I can put that in. But where is even another puzzle? I think I've kind of done all the puzzles. Um, press the big triangle. Wait, you're lying. Oh, you're totally right. Oh, no. I can't figure out how like basic things work. That's embarrassing. Sitting here bragging about how I put together the most complex puzzle of all time. Hit the enter button to enter. Maybe this is why the 999 treated me like I was a toddler every time I used a keypad. Have you ever used a calculator before in your life? Yes, I have, but apparently I still don't know how they function. It's okay, you weren't sure. That's fair. I mean, it is, it's not your standard enter key. That's for sure. I found a gold file. Gold file uh, contains supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape, you must open the safe with the escape password. Okay. Um, the problem here is that I have no idea how to get the actual password. I don't know how I got the secret safe password without the real one. There's a key somewhere. Um, nowhere that I know. The little panel with the keyhole. This is a keyhole. Some kind of display. There's nothing on it. Um, 
maybe a zero three icon while well, pushing three for the three and zero three got me this. What will I get if I push the zero? Oh, you are given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level to easy. In easy mode, other characters will give you more hints. However, once you switch the difficulty to easy, you can't switch it back to hard until you finish that escape. Uh, when you start over in a particular escape or enter it, it's at the hard. Okay. Um, never mind. The magic that I did with the math about the babies and the old people was pure coincidence and none of that mattered. That's kind of embarrassing in its own unique way, but uh, we'll see. Uh, blue. Blue card. Blue card and the... I don't want to be over here. I kind of miss clicking arrows to get around because then... Uh, uh, it was it was easier instead of dragging. Really true. I don't know how it happened, but it did. My mental math was completely worthless, but it was impressive. I think maybe it was just meant to be. Moon sun sun. This isn't what it showed us last time. Different password. You played this game with a controller. That's fair. I might end up doing the same since it looks like it's it controls pretty differently. And I guess that makes sense because this would have been a 3DS game from the way that I was looking at it. And that game had a joy or the 3DS had like its own joystick. So you could actually like look around and stuff. Well the DS was just point and click. Um so it might be more built for that. But like uh, the first game was so convenient because I could just play like leaning back with uh, only one hand on my desk. Uh, Moon Sun Sun. Obviously, you can still lean back with the uh, with the controller, but I was playing one handed. I was really just going one handed. I was one handing it the whole time throughout 999. And I know that that sounds like uh, psychotic or worrying, but just don't think about it like that, please. Maybe he has two types of passwords. Look at his different stuff in it now. I already knew that I had two types of passwords, girl. Uh, my transmitter has been making me receive all kinds of information right now. It's got a false back, so you can just flip around, kind of like those hidden passages and mansions and stuff. So if you put in a different password, you'd get different stuff. I think so. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here. Is this a key? No, it couldn't be. It's a key. We found it. Awesome. Now hurry up and use it. She was smiling for like the first time. I can't believe that we're finally happy. Uh, you're ready. I'm going to put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something. Just hurry it up. I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. That's fair. Yes, it unlocked. Hey girl, can I please make sure that we don't literally die? I suppose so. Uh, so now we just have to open this panel. True. And hit the button. Oh, that wasn't like on the thing that was like see through. Once you leave the elevator, the novel section will begin. For more information on the controls for the novel section, have a look at the help section in the archive. Are you ready? Just do it. All right. All right. Message received. Here we go. Three, two, one and push. It went for the full countdown and everything. That's not quite how I expected the exit to be. It opened a hatch in the ceiling. Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? So you can, like, escape. The Nonary Games. Escaped on hard difficulty in Virtue's Last Reward, I have beat the game. Alright, it's open. Now let's get the hell out of here. Ellipses, ellipses, what? What's wrong? Ellipses, ellipses, oh uh, yeah? Guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. That's a little high for me too. All right then, climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders. That's what I said. Something wrong? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Come on, I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs. Or... I knew it. Man. You sick bastard. I didn't think that we were going there, to be honest. I was just kidding. Look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Man, Fine. going all for it. On your knees. On your knees, what? 
You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. You could probably achieve the high jump. It's the least that you could do. I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Okay. There. Ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? What are you going to do? Is she just going to... Go. Is she gonna like close everything? Before I can leave? She can fly? How in the hell? I mean, uh, fair. I'd be right, asking the same hand. thing. Uh, by the way that she was talking, I really just assumed that she was gonna close the hatch. What well, are I'm not you? Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Why didn't Batman she? Or Spider Man, or Aquaman, or Merman, or a Wolf Man. Thank you for listing all of them. I'm not a Brahmin or a common or Oh, a we're not done. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. Uh thank you. I was really scared that you might have been My name is Fi. noodles. I guess you Fi? No longer girl. I am no man. It's funny because she can fi. Just come on. Are they allowed to say those superheroes? That's kind of what I was wondering too. She went through the whole list, like going, please, please. Please copy strike us, uh, Marvel and DC. Please, please. I don't know if Marvel would have owned or if Disney would have owned uh, Marvel. Wait, is Disney Marvel? Yes. Right? Yeah. Disney is Marvel. I don't know if Disney would have owned Marvel yet. Hold on. I'm going to grab a uh, grag. I'm going to grab a Coke real fast. I'm realizing all this talking is more than I signed up for even though i i knew what i was getting into because all the uh talking and reading through uh 999 was kind of insane witch king look at the nice uh cg hand if i was playing this on 3ds i could turn on 3d mode and be like he's really touching me nine pink blue yellow i guess that's how they make it different the milkman <laughs> Go comedy? I love comedy. Oh, two milkmen go comedy. It's the funniest thing that I've ever heard. I'm so glad that they have that there. Uh, thank you for keeping it lighthearted. Sure What's up with like this place? Shaft. I agree. Warehouse, maybe. Oh, or the elevator hand. is like a fake elevator. It wasn't actually going to drop. So yeah. we were in an elevator. Oh, it only it drops. Oh, it wasn't even going to drop. You so just screwing seem. with us? Forget it. Look. More people. Oh, a lot more people. They're just standing there? Egyptian lady from end of first game? Like an old guy, Alice? A man, two girls and... And a kid? Wearing bracelets. True. I wonder... Trapped here too. I wonder why. Let's go say hi then. I agree. I forgot that we're gonna have to be reintroduced to the concept of a nonary game. Oh, hey there! Any of you guys know what the hell's going no, on here? No, don't. I haven't been Woman out there A, than woman you. all ice. They grabbed you too, huh? They did. Grabbed. Sigma. Sigma went from his own car to his own trunk. I got in my car, I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. So Zero just kind of stole Zero's whole outfit. The smoke seems to be some kind of general. Haru Okumura? When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. Mid? Small child. No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator. Dio? Which one are you, Dio? Oh, that makes sense. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Dio and Quark? What a group of names. Why do they all already go by, like, fake names? <laughs> so what about the rest of you? Tenmyo, G, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Wait, no way. Okay, so that is Alice. And maybe these are real names? Either way, for some reason, they're going... Somebody's going by Sigma, and somebody's going by Phi. No, and that's all I know. So you'd be Ten Miyoji then, right, sir? Yep. And Alice is... 
True, I already knew She's that. I played the last game. Hello. Hello, it's Luna. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. What's she so nervous about? I don't know. Maybe the fact that you are wearing bracelets and we're just in an elevator about to drop Maybe to your you death. Are. Uh, I'm Sigma. <laughs> and this bundle of laughs is Phi. Good to meet you all, I guess. These people Say just show up to these what? like death games Again. with top hats and stuff. And this malnourished harpy is Phi. Master. Better. They already have such strong chemistry and they um. just met. Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. I think. Never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See your bracelet there? No. Uh, no. Sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. Okay. Uh, Three pair. So. What? You and Dio show them your bracelets. The mouth looks so funny whenever it's full open. It's just a pink void. There's not any depth to it. It's a lair. Both say pair and have a number three. Oh, so it is just by color. Just like Fi and I. Are there uh, three pairs? Because three plus three plus three is nine. According to my math. I'm not the best at it, but I think I got it. Ours are red. And yours are blue. Sharp eye there. Thank you, I can tell the difference between colors. Wait until I tell you that I could figure out the difference between a hexagon and a square too. What about yours? Absurd, ten Miyoji, yeah. right? Show them yours too, ladies. Ladies? Solo? Oh, they have to play by themselves. Are they like all the previous nonary gamers? They're different? You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then. Alice was uh, hanging out in the bottom of the boat. Sigma figure what out? The red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue or pair. out in the not the boat, but the Nevada desert. Each pair got put in the same. Pretty close. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So. So they got put in their own separate elevators. That's great and all, but what do pair and solo mean? I've got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. Everyone did like just get either. here. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe uh, something to do with the game. I would think so. The known game. Yes, yes, yes. The third zero. It. The notary game. game. Say it again. I didn't catch it the first time. Thank you. You guys saw him too, right? That yes. rabbit. In the elevator, he said something about the elevator falling. True, and he lied. Why would he do that? Already way less trustworthy than the first zero. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehousey room we were in and tested the doors. Fortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They'd been about to try they had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Phi and I appeared. Any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? Uh that's fair. There's some for, uh, sort of I don't know machine off to the left here, but give it a shot, why don't you? Oh, it's the red Classic. Put your hand on it. Add up to nine. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Well, I didn't really think that would work anyway. I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Yeah, I mean, how about these, uh, those doors over I there? I told you already. Ugh, each one's got Ugh. a digital lock on it. We can't pick. Gosh. Them, and we can't break down the door. Fair. What's with the hat, I by the way? Lie. That's also fair. Are there any no, other ways? Unfortunately, not that we've found anyway. Well, Great. There is one thing I'm a little I agree. About. Go ahead. I was the first to escape. That means I Congratulations, you didn't have to brag about it. I watched all of you come out after all. And? Well, I was in the one third from the right. Okay. Tenmyoji was a. second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. 
Yeah, that's where I was. You have some awareness? You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. Rightmost? L? T A L? You came out of the elevator. D Q? Dairy Queen? Yeah, we did. And finally. Okay. Tattle. The two of you were trapped. Tattle? The third elevator from the. Oh, so there's still more. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost uh, elevator. Sp uh, saddle. Spaddle. Spatical. Are you. Sabbatical? Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does Hold on, strange. we're going on a vacation. Maybe we should go take a look. Maybe not the vacation that you'd want. Are we in the Nevada desert again? They can't have too many of these, like, crazy locations, right? The guy that was kind of funding the whole thing, uh, like, you know, I assume got locked up after the end of the first game, but maybe that's too much to assume. If you can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise. They're making noise. Nothing. No, they're not. Hey, Never mind. I assumed that was them. I assumed that it would be, like, soundproof, uh, or else it would be so embarrassing that nobody else tried that yelling and kind of punching the door. Maybe it oh, it. do we have to save them? Door. No, we don't. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on Two all room. six of the elevators. Two people. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. You would think oh, so. The Nonori game Ambidex True. edition? That's what it was called? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? Now. Nah. I got nothing. I can't take nothing him seriously dirty. the way his mouth so moves. Taken everything we were carrying? It's just this what one is... pose where it's a pink uh, mass. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. How kind of them to do your laundry? Um, and also, I don't know, get the lint out, I guess. What makes you so sure? Well, nothing. That? People? Why would you be shocked? It's like the sixth time this has happened. You did the exact same thing. That was a little overkill. Why does everybody, like, jump like that? She has sleigh bells? He has sleigh bells? What the? Clover. Who the hell? True. Is that a robot? Clover. I know Clover. Are you okay? Clover. Wake up. Alice and Clover were, like, best friends after the end of the first game, I guess? What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She Nothing? Like masked man, I true. Really worry, Why she are you masked? Fine. Like that? Steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Are you not a robot? Then or are you a guy? Up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but... Welcome, Terror. This is uh, Virtue's last reward. I do remember you, but you are missing a profile picture. Which is shocking. Uh, basically, visual novel with escape rooms and stuff. So, it's, it's odd. I just beat the game that takes place before this, uh, last week. So, today is the, uh, start of the sequel. I kind of wanted to jump directly into the sequel, because I was getting, like, really into the last game. Hold on, how about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl. We've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. He does have like a, a monk robe on. So it means he's about peace. Another amnesiac? Yeah, minus a profile pic. It's just a bee. A blue B, B for blue. I have no idea where I am. Be yourself, be on. If you happen to know any of those things, nobody does. We're stuck in a warehouse with no kind of information. Everybody has been knocked out like dead. Ah, oh, yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. 
please. How are we supposed you gotta to believe him. Seriously, when you're wearing this, this, this robot suit, we can't even see your face. True, you just take off the Can't helmet. Tell someone forced you into that thing. I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. When Does it? Up, I was wearing this armor. I suppose you could call it. Do you know what you look like? Pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. That's also oh, true. That's an odd choice of words. What is this game? Uh, Virtue's Last Reward uh, series uh, in the Nonary game series uh, came out for like the 3DS. Um, you know what I meant. Is basically uh, escape rooms and puzzles. Uh, oh. It's kind of like. She's waking up. Uh, I haven't seen Saw, but I assume it's kind of like Saw, except Clover. like different and more okay? anime y. 3DS? Oh, true. The original game came out on like the DS DS and then at some point they ported them to Steam so that's what I'm playing it off of. That's why I have like a mouse cursor and stuff so I don't actually have to like be limited. Once Clover had woken up Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero in the notary game and then her eyes went up. What? This one has 3D models. Welcome Toonie. True it does. Uh, it's kind of unsettling in a way. I'm used to seeing the 2D people, and also the main character is not voiced. The blood drained from her face and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? So I can't just sit here and be like, oh Sigma, uh, so true, so true Sigma. I have to like, read what he's saying. Who would have thunk 3DS games would look awful in a place other than 3DS? It's a little different. As Alice continued to console, uh, to console, to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. Sorry if you're unwelcome, by the way. I never said that you weren't welcome. Why did you lose your memory? If you weren't welcome, I would make it known. When? That's a difficult question. Would you play any RE games in the future? I'm playing uh, Resident Evil 4 currently. That that playthrough is still going on. So I believe, although I believe Wednesday I will be wrapping that up, I don't know what it'll be done. Uh, you just felt unwelcome. Does that make sense? It's fair. If you feel uncomfortable, that's fine. I suppose. I don't mean to make you feel uncomfortable right now, but uh, it doesn't need to be an issue. I don't think. We asked him everything we could think of, birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. You're a good dude, haha. -ha. Thank you. I appreciate it. Trying to run a decent-ish stream. Generalized amnesia, convenient. By it, retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts. I do appreciate that no matter the nonary game, you are going to get a like group of people that know random useless information. It's fine for you to say anything. Wow, look funny visual novel, that's fair. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to resist Well, it looks like his head is fairly protected. Although then again, uh, you have like football players that will go with their fairly protected heads and then like <laughs> fall over and then get a brain injury and never be the same again. Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad We're going for that kind of fun sports feel here. What do you guys think of Rose? What do you mean? Is he a robot or is he just a very armored man? I think right now we have a very armored man. Making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Yeah, true. Resident Evil Rose? Uh the uh uh, uh, Resident Evil 8, I liked it. It was good uh, at the time whenever I played it. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot, robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. 
Uh, close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours and not simply part of his suit. Uh, and just like ours, his had a three on it. It's built in. It said pair below the three and all the text was bright green. Uh, Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. That does make sense given all the things that we've seen. I'm starting to recognize patterns. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours, days, there was no way to know. Uh, they'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead unless it happened to be three right now. It wasn't going to be very useful for uh, telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Why isn't, like, why haven't we recapped everything from the last Nonary game? No dice. This thing won't open. I tell you that? Uh, I just there's thought might as well try. There's nine of us now. Maybe Not nine of us. Is there nine of us? I assume there's nine of us. Like the ones next to the elevator. True. I don't think it's a card reader, though. It says lock. What do you think that is? A lock? The over there. See? On the wall? Oh, the milkmen? Oh, yes, that. Two milkmen go comedy? I love comedy. Making me laugh. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's the funniest thing that I've ever heard. It's the state of uh, humor currently. Still just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. It's somebody's way of saying hello. What? Yeah, I did just what in the hell is that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An yeah, anagram? They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. No, so I'm stupid. Of, um, word play Please explain it all. To Me, else. Sigma? I'm the only right? guy with zero knowledge exactly. in this game? I need you all to explain Watch. basic things to me. Please tell me how to use a calculator. Hit enter to enter and clear to clear. With the tip of her boot, Phi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. We go sleep. Have a great stream. Thank you for tuning in, Terror. Uh, I always appreciate seeing you in the chat whenever you can appear. But I understand that it's probably an awkward time for you. Okay, if you switch it around, that makes sense. Hmm, exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us. No way. Was it the rabbit on the screen that gave it away? Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. Do milkmen go comedy? Is that a non sequitur or is this uh, short for something? True. True. That zero is is that two milkmen go comedy or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> the giggling is a little unnecessary. You can just talk if you would like. Huh? Let me set up an intercom in a, a giant warehouse. Hire a bunch of people. I'm the foreman. King of the castle. Uh, grabbing the microphone over the intercom. Giggling Look. as uh, maniacally over as possible. There. A projector. On, you, I can't believe it. Fido. Zero. I was about to start reading. My brain is so far in the reading mode, it feels like it's been rotted in a unique way. Alice is dressed exactly like how you'd expect a kidnapped person in an abandoned warehouse to look like. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, Alice, fun enough, uh, is was shown at like the very end of the first uh, Nonary game, so she's a she's a repeat character technically. Although she is wearing like slightly different clothes this time. Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's True. Meant, you definitely don't look oh. real. You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes. Uh, you're your own person. Here's a sentient rabbit, because why not? The Rampa already did the rabbit mystery game thing. I think this one might be older. Then you're saying Zero is one of us? No way. Thank you for just telling us already. Are you sure? Typing in 
uh, messages for the text of speech rabbit to read while nobody looks. That's why I have to stand at the back of the crowd. You don't see Sigma anywhere right here. Sigma is probably the one typing them. It's probably me. Because it doesn't look It's not older? That's kind of surprising. Well, of course they aren't. An AI. An AI? Oh. I guess it is like 2028 now or whatever. 2028 is only four years from now. AI has been advancing rapidly. You can tell an AI uh, chatbot to make you a video of a rabbit wearing clothes and a hat. And it would spit this out and it could maybe like say words at you. It couldn't say words at you. We're at the beginning of the AI video era. But within like a year, we're probably we're getting there, I think, which is kind of was scary. A mommy or a daddy? Hey, I can make a totally realistic video of Will Smith eating spaghetti, so of course you can do this. That's Will Smith eating spaghetti video is like old news now though. That's the thing. It would be it would it would be funny if it was the newest one, but because they like made better ones, now it's less funny. Now with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I, mean, I wasn't listening to you, so I read it. You're fake. Oh, you're the receiver of the transmitter. And what do you facilitate? Death games? Can I say? The game, of course! Oh, I've got a good eye. Correct. Will Smith video still drives nightmares, it's that's fair. To make sure it runs it's a little uncanny whenever you see, like, those early AI videos, and it's like, uh, the Pope sits down in a chair. And the Pope goes to like sit down and instead of just like sitting on top of the chair, he will morph partially into the chair and his legs will go inside of it and stuff. No. Obviously that's not a real example, but I made it up on the fly. I think I should be an AI model. There she goes again, she knows something. I think so too, that so, clover. What is the nonary game? Nine. Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system. Thank you, masked man. Something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. He's, he's the actual chatbot? Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Okay, Google, tell me what Nona means. Is a game is Siri, can I please know what Nona is? Thank you for clarifying. Nine is your goal. Yes, it, goal. If you didn't notice, there was a big door with the number nine on it. Why don't you know, Alice? I assume it's the same girl from the end of the first game. What do we have to do to open it? Nine. Yes, yes. Let me Look to your left wrist. You Thank you. Of course you do. Now, I lost mine. Fido, what number is on? Why are we targeting five? What about the rest of you? Gonna get self-conscious and shut same. down? We've all got threes. Except I'm going to call those numbers. BP. Or true. Yes. I can see all of these. I've been through this before. I already know the details. The protagonist named Fido, like a dog. Kind of silly. Protagonist is not Fido. The one of the protagonists is Fi. The protagonist protagonist is Sigma. I know he's not visible anywhere, so honestly, part of me just thinks that he's fake. Maybe that's why there's no voice. I'm part of a dream, a figment of everyone's imagination. I am the Akane of this game. Fair assumption. Sigma isn't real, he can't hurt you. I'm starting to think that's true. Well, what? You could if you wanted to. I would like to know all the 
Oh, any bunny. He's doing the bunny puns. What the hell does that mean? Down in front. I'll tell you later. Um. Yeah. Why did you start making rabbit? Puns it's to keep fun? things light. Well, um, <laughs> to have fun. I felt like it. Can artificial intelligence make rabbit puns off the fly? Do they have the feeling to want to be cute? You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? True. Oh, that's easy. Just use the Abidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the A. The Ab room? You mean those, uh... Elevators? Elevators? Cold star. So how do we go about... Good job. Them? Uh... Quark? How else do you use... This is room? weird. I agree, oh, Jerry. Yeah. Also, welcome, Jerry. The PNG has soul. I feel the exact same way. I've gotten used to... You don't understand the amount of re restraint that it took to leave it off at jury, by the way. But we got there. Uh, you don't understand how weird it feels to go through, start the room search, and then uh, not being able to lo lock eyes with Junpei like I'm used to. Also, main character not voice acted. So now whenever he says you mean through those hatches, I have to just read it no. instead of uh, Sigma saying words and stuff. And also, I haven't seen a Sigma character model at all. So any of the group stuff uh, just does not have Sigma involved at all. So I'm pretty sure that Sigma just isn't real. I think he's a figment of anybody's imagination. Junpei's voice actor was insane. I agree. I kind of loved Junpei by the end of it. Part of it was for his voice and how he delivered stuff. It's crazy because you are Sigma. True. And that's what makes it sad is that like, I think whenever I was playing as Junpei, you kind of connected to Junpei in a way because you were the transmitter. Junpei was the receiver who was the transmitter to Akane's receiver so we kind of had like a linkage going on and that's why at the beginning of every round we, we would look at each other and we would know what's going on but I don't know what's going on in Sigma's head because I guess I'm supposed to be Sigma but I'm not Sigma at the same time because he's got his own character and like face and stuff and like I'm not gonna go hunga, but Sigma goes hunga and then says, uh, let me involve something between your thighs. And those like aren't my words, they're Sigma's words. He's written in a specific way, so why is Sigma not Sigma? Why am I Sigma? Junpei was Junpei, why is Sigma different? I loved Junpei. You understand? Where do we find That's where people? we're at right now. Also, first, we've only done one puzzle, yeah. so you haven't really missed what anything. Oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then True. Obviously. This zero is kind of over the top, and I think I hate him, like, a lot. Junpei looks great. Take it back. He wears a puffer vest on top of a hoodie vest on top of a vanel. He was pulling it off. It's about the confidence. I thought those doors were locked. It fit him well. You see those buttons on the sides of your watch. I see them. Can you press them at the same time? Sorry, I tapped out for a second. I don't know if that picked up at all. To make little boys ask questions. Just wow. I'll work on it. Ten minutes? That means we're about to... Oh. Oh, I was right. I was about to forget what left was from right. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. It was a good guess. The numbers are going down. We're wasting time now? So that would mean Have you been counting be time throughout the whole explanation? That's not our fault. We're gonna get blowed up. Do we know the about the bombs the in our system? Ding, 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 ding. Very impressive. Oh. I kinda don't wanna hear you Just anymore, Zero. Making me miserable. Switch it to Zero Words. I love mascot characters, true. 
once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. I hope I have gone through too. What? I bun needs to leave. Warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? Uh, boy, we sure have rabbit more off than we can chew. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. True. Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? It would be far too convenient. We could have fit the uh, warhouse and warhouse warehouse interior design to the color of the doors. It feels kind of jarring whenever you turn and see the uh, bright pink door alongside the grim gray walls. It's pretty sad. Pom pom looks different. True. Also, like significantly more annoying. You should be a radio host or other job that involves talking very quickly. I think my choice of the talking very quickly options will be the streaming thing, believe it or not. Okay. RGB. Oh my god. We're like gamer themed. Going into my RGB warehouse, light strips climbing throughout the entire building. Looking at the fans upwards, blinded. Red light, green light, blue light, yellow light, cyan light. It all mixes as your retinas burn. Yeah, yeah. You turn your head back towards yeah, the doors. Already. Red door, green door, blue door. The red and blue bracelets can open the second Never mind. Door Pink together. door, cyan door, green and yellow red, door. Can the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Looking for the keyboard Wonderful. puzzle where you have to put together your I RGB custom you keyboard. Rabbit. Can I make mine green, please? We're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yeah. What do you think happens? I don't know anything know yet. Know. If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary. Okay. True. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Congratulations, old man. Ten Miyoji. By the way, I think what I had gotten slightly spoiled on was just not true at all. So I think we're all good. Actually envision Sigma turning his head 180 degrees like a Cthulian owl. He could fit in with the dredge crowd. What did he say? I wasn't listening. I'm starting to tune out the annoying voice. Thank God that Zero doesn't talk much in these games. I don't know how much bunny I can take. Evil death bunny. Some of these are getting pretty forced. But I guess I really can't talk either. I feel like most of my jokes are pretty low tier forced ones. But it's way better when I do it. I swear. More like shut up, true. Zero, more like uh, say zero words. I didn't read. Pear, I'm a pear. She's a pear. Alas. It's red. All ass? Blue. Blue pear. Blue pear. Blue solo. Green pear. Green solo. I'm. Let's see. I suppose you. I knew it. Hey. You're just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. Okay. How do I put it? The response to any message? I suppose. I. 
I saw the letter K. So, what does K have to do with anything? It's the A B C D E F G H I J. Wait, hold on. A B C D E F G H I J K. It's the eleventh uh, letter in the alphabet. I wish I knew. Two above nine, which means that he wraps around back into being one, which I believe makes him the bad guy of this game, similar to Ace. Exactly. We have solved it. it it's trying you? to trick you by giving him amnesia by making you think he's more seven than anything. But under that mask is a billionaire that is Down running the experiment. You can fight later. Now, uh, K, can I call you? Uh, K? Yes. Can I call you I'm what you said your name was? Is the same as Clover's. That's right. K Lover? It says pair and you text it. Me too. I don't know. Siggy, I've finally been addressed. Hold on, I'm not fake. For red, I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. I'd rather not, like at all, ever. Please. <laughs> Celery sticks. Exactly three, that's annoying. No three to five. Okay, it's locked. You could have put bombs in them. It does. I understand. Thank you. I'm ready to hop right out of here. Took a moment to go over everything we've learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number door. How do I open the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet points. Known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't, uh, ambidex room. How do I get into the ambidex room? I'll need a key card. Where's the key card? Zero says it's on the other side of the door. Uh, the CD, nothing actually. Apparently it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. Uh, get to the secondary door. There's a limit to how many people can go in, specifically three people. Combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors with that color's complementary color. Red plus blue, magenta, green plus red, yellow, blue plus green, cyan. Complementary, red plus red, cyan, blue plus blue, yellow, green plus green, magenta. Good? Yes. No way, we have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And who the hell is the real zero? It's the rabbit. Obviously. It's already been 10 minutes. Thank you. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until- There's some background noise in my apartment, so I apologize if you can hear that. I don't know if it's getting picked up, so let me know if it is. True. I'm gonna sit here then die. Good one, Dio. Tell him. You think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along? Got another thing coming, you smart ass little rogue. Another think coming? I'm a rabbit. Shut up. Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately. Why True. Bomb reveal? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. Oh, and we'll be stuck here forever. Inside up, they'll close. They'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. What does that mean? Keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well, Please reveal. Wholesome? What a shocker. Your bracelets contain two drugs. They're leopards, I see. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is oh, a Soparil. Uh, 999 reference? You won't believe it. Your bracelet also the game has a following the previous game in the series has some linkages to the previous game. Oh. We're going for the stabbing instead of the blowing up. Last time they're like just... Wait, there was though. There definitely was. 
I don't understand that last part of the game still. It's still confusing. You should know that the Silver Rill is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm. Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. How kind? If I had a heart, it is very kind. The previous year was a big fan of seeing people's hearts. Not having one? I'll follow it fine. Why are you still holding us here? Please get out of here. I don't want to see you. Have a nice trap. I get it. It's because we're trapped in a warehouse with bracelets. Hold on. So there was poison in the bracelet. It seems a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer generated rabbit say either way. What were we going to do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. True. What? How do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't go get though? It? I'm noticing like a funny <laughs> amount of typos, but I'm not gonna complain Zero's about them, it's just funny. Was pretty confusing. So let me put it in small words Unless I'm stupid. Know. I might just be there making them up in my head. Dreaming options. up typos for something to latch on to. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. Okay. Mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. That just so Luna? And Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door. Got it? So, so Luna option is the option. B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji. So or Tenmyoji. Green to make yellow. For that, that means Clover and K pair up with this leaves Dio and Quark with Alice. Tenmyoji or and Luna? Finally, option C would be where we pair up with light color. That okay. Sigma, Alice, and I go through or the Alice. Side. Well, I'm just going with Alice since I think she's from the old game. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the magenta so, door. So, SPA, and the reds go together. And Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. Why me? <laughs> if you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can I feel choose. like Clover should choose. She's experienced. You just seem the most uh, choosable. Else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. Your first instinct. Why? Why didn't you choose? One minute. One minute? Okay. <laughs> I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. Took a deep breath and spoke. Okay, Fi and I will uh, go with Alice. I'm thinking I'd like to go with Alice and take the cyan door. Is that yeah. okay with you guys? Sure. That means Quark and I are getting paired with Luna. I don't have a problem with that. Good. As long as I don't have to work with Quark and Dio mainly, they seem like the most it's annoying characters in this too. game. We'll take the By far. Yeah. It's not even close. I just have a bad feeling about the goofy dude in the top hat and the goofy little dude in a whatever this is, the SpongeBob soda hat. That means Clover, but with we'll lights instead of soda. What is it then? Well, you're really gonna make me say it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. What? Man. You, I'll have you know I'm as spry as I was when I was 20. Hate anime Ten games comic relief? Remain until Just how it is. Doors. Go. Nine. Eight. Seven. <laughs> Sorry about the tabbing out. I was checking stuff. <laughs> I don't know if that actually picks up, but on my end, whenever I tab out, the noise completely stops. It might actually just not stop at all for you people, but I'm not certain. Yeah, yeah, so if it does stop, uh, sorry about Three, that. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Okay, we're going for the full scan and everything. Crew quarters. Is this just a hallway? Like crew 
quarters? Oh, the crew, People the crewmates. The, the, the Amogus? One, two, three. Four, we don't have to run anywhere so without one, blowing up. Two, Panting three, has been two, removed seven. from the game. <laughs> Guess we might as well start by opening one of them. Schrodinger's cat. Plus signs. Phone, it'll tell me Looks how to like use we the phone. Right. This place really says someone lives here. There's a bed yeah, and everything. But who would be spending the night in a place like this? It looks too plain to be a guest room. This room probably belonged to a laborer or some kind. I guess this is where the people who worked here stayed. Panting, not panting, please. Beats me. Why would I know that anyway? I don't know what this place is any more than you do. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you think it might be a coal mine? We're going, uh, hmm. coal maybe mine. Maybe drilling for oil or something. I don't know Where are these that. guesses coming from? What do you think this hall you leads to? Yes. I would. The exit! Looks we like it's locked. The hallway until we can unlock it then, I guess. Are they gonna be like visible Looks in the rooms way. and stuff since they're like 3D models this time? Obviously you couldn't just have a 2D PNG of Clover standing nearby in the first game. But you could have like a model standing somewhere in the room. Zero told us there are key cards we can use to open the AB rooms. Maybe there's one hidden in here somewhere. So let's get started. With a nod, Phi and Alice both moved off to start looking. Phi headed to room four and Alice went to room two. Very cool, they're invisible. Seek a way out. See, see, no Junpei eyes, can't tell what's happening because he doesn't look at me. There's no connection to Sigma, he's not real. Uh, two or three is locked with the cuffs. Interesting way to get that shut. Here's one. I guess one is just my door. We don't need to go all the way and close it. Uh, I guess I will read Schrodinger's cat. Uh, stuff on the walls, I don't think it's a stain, a triangle, a leaf thing, and another triangle. What's that thing on the right? It looks like the silhouette of a fox. Interesting comparison, there's a book on top of the desk. It's called, how the hell do I pronounce that, Schrodinger's cat? Sigma might just be the dumbest character of all time. There's a kitty on the cover, isn't that just precious? Thank you Sigma, whoops, there it goes. Still can't help talking like a cat when I talk about a cat. That's fair. Talking meows to cats. Looks like all sorts of sciencey stuff. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't think this is part of any kind of puzzle, so I'm just gonna leave it here. A desk. Looks like the top's made of glass. What's the deal with this drawer? No way you can put your uh, keyboard on that. But there's nothing on it. Since the top of the desk is made of glass, I should be, uh, be able to see anything I put in the drawer. Drawer's seen out from the desk, but there's nothing in it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be putting stuff in there at some point. Uh, I didn't want to bash into it. I wanted to look at it. I think the panel here is what unlocks it, but nothing happens when I push the buttons. I do appreciate that uh, no matter what character you're playing as in these games, Junpei or Sigma, the first instinct is always, let me try to punch this as hard as I possibly can. If that doesn't work, maybe I'll bash my head into it. And then if that doesn't work, then maybe I'll think about using the keypad that's on the front. It's never worked, it never will work. Is that a keyhole on the top there? True. I probably need a key or something, but what about the, what about the numbers? Can I not access those? Here we are. Let me uh, click on stuff, I guess. A phone, is it connected? No. A phone. One probably means room one. That's the room I'm in right now, so it would probably call there. Probably just wouldn't do anything. I mean, it's not like you can call yourself with only one phone. There's no harm in trying. Nothing, pressing the one button is probably pretty pointless. Where should I call next? We can try two. Two must be in room two. This must connect to Alice. So are we actually going to be able to communicate to each other like this? Who is this? Hey Alice, are you are there? Sigma, is that you? Where are you calling from? Room 1. It's right next door. Why did you call me? You could just walk. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Something on the display, it says 25 asterisk asterisk. 25. Do you think it's a clue? Well, I'm going to look around the room a little more. I'll see you later. 
25. I wonder if, if there's maybe a reason for the stuff. There's no phone number. The four different things. 25. That it is a phone. I keep clicking on the photos of the buttons. 25. Th uh, there. Better than justice, I suppose. Really? You can do better than that. I'm hanging up. What do you want? Where are you calling from? Room 1? I guess they have some kind of internal line, seems like it, so what's it to you? It's this Agricola Agricola 9-2. Didn't know you were into German-style board game farming simulations. I meant asterisk asterisk 92. I don't get that one. 2592. How on earth could you get those two mixed up? It's what it says on the phone's display. 92. Maybe it's a clue? 2592. 2592? Call me if you find anything else. Two, five, nine, two. Please? This is room three. No tape has been inserted. The answering machine will not function. Where should I call next? Oh. Well. Uh. Two, five, asterisk, asterisk. No? Okay. Uh, what about asterisk, asterisk, nine, two? 2592 is the thing. Let me type that down for myself in the chat box. I will be referring to that later, I'm sure. It didn't do anything for me, though. Oh, looks sort of like a mirror. The surface is kind of matte, and it isn't very reflective, but the light is good, so it's easy to see what's on it, or it would be if there is anything on it. Several plates. Okay, true. Does that mean anything? 2592. I'm not sure, like, uh, what that's there for. Someone left a book of, uh, about cats and meow. We got a bed. Somebody had a bad night. There's a human silhouette drawn in white on the bed. The area where the left knee would be has been ripped out. I wonder if that means anything. She of the person's on the cot. The area around the left knee seems to have been deliberately whatever. Is there nothing that I can do here? I guess not. Uh, bed is still out. I'm gonna walk over to my good friend's rooms and see what they're up to because, uh, oh well, I don't think she'll mind if I go in. I hope not because I have no idea what I'm doing on my side. Sigma, what are you doing here? Just thought I'd come to check up on you. Well, I haven't found anything interesting. That's unfortunate. It seems like none of you people ever find anything interesting. Something on top of the desk, it's a little piece of metal. Small piece of metal, true. Um, anything in your drawer? No. That's fair. Let me see. Can you access... There's no key here. Let me just start bashing on things again. I'm sure it'll work this time, for sure. I should move the chat box. I didn't realize that it was, like, directly in front of the people's face. So, let me, like... Grab that and move it to the right side, I guess. Enter a four-digit code, then press enter on the key on the right. Uh, two... What the... Two, 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 two. I don't understand. Six, two, three, three, zero, three, and... Six, three, oh, two, three, one. I actually appreciate not getting to see the character's strange 3D models. Do you have any ideas while you're going to look at them? Whether you like it or not? Well, if you don't like it, you could just, like, leave, I guess? So, you have options? Of course I do. You really think you're going to open it by just pressing random buttons? Well, I thought maybe I'd just get lucky. Doesn't work like that. There's no way you're going to get this thing open unless you know what to enter. Okay, bye. Fair. Uh... Let me open the bed. We got more injuries. Naturally. Whenever you're laying in bed and you sh strain your arm and rip out your elbow, I guess? It had a torn part too. It had a torn part too. I thought it was a different part. The area around the left forearm has been torn. Do you think that's a clue? I would think so. No, but seriously, you are very EP sleepy. That's fair. Thank you for stopping by, Toonie. Uh, I can call... I can call from, uh, Alice's room. Just 2-5. Never mind, I cannot. I was hoping maybe it would give me some extra answers, but instead we're just going to visit somebody else.
called Phi. I think I'll sell, say hello. Oh, we got a poster. Finally, some interior design. Find anything? Not really. By the gods, I never thought I'd see one. You scratch off the silver part with a coin so you can see the naughty stuff. The ultimate in interactive poster technology, there's no way. What teenage boy doesn't dream of something like this? The excitement, the anticipation, and finally the reveal. You look pretty excited. It's the coolest thing that he's ever seen. Of course, this chunk of metal ought to do it. It's too slippery. I think I'm going to need a coin to deal with that silver menace. That's not actually going to do anything, I hope, because, uh, you know, I would like to continue streaming. This piece of metal kind of cylindrical. I wonder if we just have to, like, combine the things. True. I don't think I did this escape room. Oh, you chose a different one then. This is uh, new to you then. Who did you who did you choose off the beginning? Because like my first instinct was to choose um, was to choose Alice since Alice is like the connection to the first game. I would have gone with Clover if Clover was an option, but you know she wasn't. Here's the more symbols. I didn't realize that they were different per room. Um, I'm gonna try scratching it off with my new key. I think I need it. Never mind. I'm not allowed. Who are the options? Because you don't remember. It was Alice, Ten Miyoji, and then uh, 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 I want to say it was with Alice, Ten Miyoji, or with like Dio or Quark. I think I can't remember actually. Alice, Ten Miyoji, and somebody else. I assume the key is going to be used in here. So let me just awkwardly walk back. Uh, going to... No, never mind. I simply do not know where to begin then. I think you went with whoever the third is. I can't remember who it is. I'm trying to remember, but I just can't. Uh, let me... I guess... Oh, the... True. The cuffs. I honestly thought this would be one of the last things that we caught through. So I was I wasn't even thinking about trying it on the third door. But it makes a lot of sense. Box cutter, that would get the silver parts off for sure. Hold on. Going to turn around and maybe look at the thing. It's already open. I'm gonna mute for now. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. I raised my audio gate a little bit, so let me know if I'm being picked up. It looked like the background noise in my apartment was being picked up. It's like loud outside my room right now. So I apologize for that if it was. I will see if I can get that fixed before, or, or like make sure that that doesn't happen again. But if I'm not getting picked up for whatever reason, and uh, please let me know. I think that we should be good, but I can't know without listening to it, and I obviously just can't right now. Large room of aluminum foil. Oh, I guess I should check the bed too. I don't know if I checked the bed in uh, Fi's room. Different place this time. Then we're going to uh, leave. Standing in the same room, is it gonna work forever? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't I, like, just cut this up with the... Oops. Uh, aluminum foil shapes. We've got triangle and then the weird fox thing. I imagine this just goes in the room that we started in. Since we have the triangle. Triangle in the triangle hole. I'm a geometrical genius. We're gonna see, though. Alright, aluminum foil's in place. Just gotta shock this. Um, I think that worked. I don't know what that did for me, though. Is there any way to move it? I don't think so. 
Okay. Cool, I guess. Do I still have... Okay, I, I still do have... Oh, we just have to do this a few times. Cancel. Let me move over to the next one. I know how to cut things. Okay. On to the next one. I guess we just do all of it at once. Okay, and now all of them complete. So now it's just go between each room and then set the shapes on the shapes. The puzzle really is just the square and the square hold, except you have to like think about it for just a little bit longer. So instead of functioning for literal toddlers, we're functioning with uh, uh maybe five year olds. We've got the seat on this one, so we need to choose the one with the seat. It has to have space for the seat. It's not you. It's probably you then, if I had to guess. We're gonna see. All right, just gotta shut this, please. Locker. I would say that is true. I don't think the other one had like funny words like that. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe they're not all supposed to be funny words. Let's go to four and set the thing down. No uh, coins yet. Also, let me open this. We're gonna see the leg, the silhouette you see in another room. Saw another one just like this. There's a hole torn around the ankle too. But it was somewhere else. Let me uh, choose a thing. So thick lines, uh, gaps between. I think it's this one. Or I'm actually not sure. We're going to try it anyway, though. I kind of doubt it. Uh, three, four, seven, two. Never mind. I'm correct. I always have been correct. Uh, maybe I should try it on the phone. Oh, it said 9-2, but as soon as the call was over, it disappeared. Display only works whenever you're on the phone. 3472, and that was to room 3. So I wonder if the phone in room 3 will do it. But before I do that, I will put the final foil into place. Just in case anything becomes unlocked. I think I would like that very much. Uh, so let me select that. I wish it automatically automatically like cycled through instead of being like mm, you want to uh use one thing surely you'll never want to use an item again we will just assume four nine eight five okay three four seven two and four nine eight five i believe um is there anything to do with this enter a four digit code and then enter on the key four nine eight five i don't know what this means though because uh, i don't know if you noticed but the numbers are up here uh, one, two, no, one, two, no, uh, four, nine, eight, five. Maybe you're clicking the additions. So four, one plus three is four. Three plus six is nine. Two plus six is eight. And is there any way to get to five from here? I don't think there is. That's a problem. This is a zero. This is a two. Never mind. Here it is. Easiest game of all time. I know how to do basic math. Piece of cake. Good job. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. Something in there. A cassette tape. Uh, true. Uh, I bet we're going to be putting these in the phones. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and do the other puzzle too. Because I'm basically already there. Uh, turn to the right. Go through door. Enter. Uh, what was it? 3472? Basic math is... Uh, I already know. We don't have to go through this every time. 3472. So 3 plus 0, according to my brain, is 3. I feel confident about that one. Uh, 4. 1 plus 3, 4. I'm going to need a pat on the back. 1 plus 6 is 7. And 2 plus 0 is 2. Thank you. I'm a born natural. Uh, we got... 
Check it out. A wallet. You probably shouldn't get your hopes up. Why not? Just a feeling. Whatever. I'm not going to let you bring me down. Let's see what's in here. What are you going to do with money anyways right now? There's only one coin in here and it's not even real money. Just a toy coin. Didn't I tell you? We finally get to reveal the bits on the poster. I've never been more excited in my life. Okay. All right, you silvery bastard. Time to meet your doom. Let's do this. You're excited? Don't misunderstand me. I'm just really anxious to find a clue in there, aren't you? You want to let me do it then? I'm sorry. Please just let me have this and then get on with it. Search for hints on the poster. Click and drag across areas of interest to scratch them. Click the green triangle on the left to move your view up and down. Let's get started. Okay. This is important for the puzzle. Just remember. This is insane that this is part of the puzzle too. Zero had to like go and find a particular thing with the thing on it. Question mark. That's about how I'm feeling too. Making sure I don't miss anything right now. Almost there. Down. It's a drag in. Uh, not drag. You hold the thing down to put it down. And I, was, I thought it would be just a click thing, but it's not. So are we going by tattoo here? Because if so, we've got like a uh, butterfly, star, butterfly, moon, shark, and uh, oh, hidden. The number nine. Okay. Very relevant. Using the stylus on the 3DS, this would go so much harder on the 3DS because then I wouldn't just be like awkwardly dragging my mouse over this. My aim is a little too bad at this to like go through it. I feel wrong for like leaving the tiny bits here. So I'm trying to like get the rest up. I, I just tried to erase uh, uh, like a, a little speck of dust that is just on my screen. Um, okay, star, butterfly, shark, and nine. I don't know what that means. I feel like I'm missing something? No way. It doesn't stay erased? Why wouldn't it stay erased? I feel like I'm missing something. Okay. Downward triangle is nine. Shark? I don't know what shark is. I was thinking, oh, star will be, uh... Oh, it's not just the silver bits. I see. It was tricking me. Okay. Six. Uh, star six. Circle one. Nine. Where would you hide? Okay, eight. Oh, the uh, jump scare? I had to erase all the other stuff. Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Weezer. <gasps> pant, pant, pant. Why, why did it like tear him down that bad? I noticed some things might be clues, so I kept going. You mean these marks on her arms and legs? There are four of them, a star, a circle, a diamond, and a triangle. What are you doing? You've already scratched it all off. I'm not done yet. This blue part still needs to go. I don't think that part's going to come off no matter how hard you scrape. As long as he believes 6189. And that should fit the... I imagine the shapes in room 1. So that's where I'm going. Unless I'm just wrong, in which case, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't remember the numbers anymore already. I've already forgotten them. Yeah, I, think, I think it's like 6891 or something. Oh, wait, we need to, so, circle, star, rhombus, triangle. I'm going to write this down before I go back. Hold on, let me get my notepad out. I should have expected that I would need this, but I didn't think it would be so soon. I thought we would be safe from this until further into the game, but apparently this one is actually going to be a little harder than uh, the other one. Although this one isn't hard, it's just like, oh, make sure you remember the basic shape. And I don't know if I have that kind of confidence built within me. So we have to figure that out. 
I didn't pass kindergarten. Uh, was that in room four? Yes, room two had Alice. I'm confident in that fact. Hold on, I accidentally uh, closed my chat box out. It is back. Okay, so circle, circle one, star is six. Um, rhombus is eight. Triangle is nine. Although the triangle is upside down, so it might end up being a six. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to do that to me. It would hardly be the craziest thing that has appeared in one of these games. One, six, eight, nine. I got it. Locked locker, I need to. F oh. Never mind. Maybe I call it. Phone? 1689. Nope. Did I get all the. One of them was already unlocked. So that's the only one that's left. That means I solved this one too early? I don't know where the key is. Um, so I don't even know where to begin to look yet. 1689. Maybe in 3? Three. 3 would be my main guess right now. So we will just go into here and pray. Yeah, there's just nothing in here. I've already looked. We're out of luck. Locker. Don't even know her. I don't know what the point of this one was. Obviously, it's going to be in the lockers. Maybe there's something else in here if you click around. I kind of... Nope. If you click, it just closes. So I would say that that is not it. Uh, oh, the cassette tape. I totally forgot about that. So uh, let me use that. The phone, there's a spot that would fit a cassette. It was probably for the answering machine, but the lid's open. If the lid is open, then maybe I could put the cassette I got in there. I should give that a try. True. So put it in. All I have to do is close the lid. Uh, and now I go call the phone, I think. Maybe I could have tried putting the thing in already, but, you know, uh, I don't need to rush things. Okay, the turn, three, three, three. There is no phone number associated. Uh, pressing the button over and over doesn't seem to be helping. 2592, I remember this. Uh, 2592, that called three earlier. Oh, also I did like write it down in the chat box for my own uh, needs. Uh, ba ba da ba ba ba. Congratulations. Looks like you found the answer. The number you just entered is the number for the phone in the third room. Buttons here on the top of the phone are just shortcuts. That means all the other phones have actual numbers too. So I guess that's not really important. Anyway, you're calling room three right now, room three, then that means. Since you're so clever, I'm sure you figured it out by now, but yes, you're right. I'm speaking to you from a pre recorded tape. So you can grasp me all the questions you like, but I won't be able to answer them. I'm afraid this little talk is going to be a bit one-sided. Then again, it's going to be very little talk because I only have one thing to tell you. Have a look at the left screen above the phone. The answer you're looking for is hidden there. What answer you ask? Well, I can't help hop you with that one, but I have a nice trace. Uh, left, 2652. All right, there's another four-digit number. What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I need to enter it somewhere. So, <laughs> I wonder, 2652. Let's see if these do anything. It opened. There's some kind of pin in there. Let's see. Uh, I got the key, so now I can, like, do the thing. Uh, go back. Uh, release me from your phone gripped trap. There's a keyhole. True. Use the pin. Opened. Made a noise. Maybe I can type stuff in now. I think it was a bomb. All right, let's do this. I agree. Uh, one plus zero is one. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9, but that's not the number we need. 2 plus 6 is 8. 9. Enter. No. 2, uh, 1689, right? 1, 6, 8, 9. No. Oh, no. Uh, 1, 6, 9, 8. Did I get it backwards? It starts with 1. 1, 
Six, eight, six. Okay, hold on. I need to look at something. I don't know. True. Okay, triangle. Uh, was one. Triangle one. No, circle was one. Maybe it's based off of the... No, that wouldn't make any sense. What am I missing? One, six, eight, nine. I'm not sure, to be honest. There's a triangle in the circle. Does that change the answer? I kind of doubt it. Uh, triangle is nine. Let me, let me just go look in the... other room. The biggest pain is that every time I open the door, I have to wait 25 minutes for the door animation to load and for me to enter. It would not be a problem if it was like a sporadic thing, not like super duper often, but it's often enough to where I have to like sit there and think about it. I had it right. Okay. One, six, eight, nine. The only thing that I could think of changing is uh, maybe I did my math wrong, as embarrassing as that is to say. It is basic addition. So if that's the case, we have a big problem. I'm going to leave. Okay. Let me go through here. We're going to try this the same exact way one more time. Although, uh, I don't think it'll work. Okay, definitely not it. Something is wrong. Uh, I don't know what though. I don't even know how to get to what is wrong. Maybe I could try different combinations. It's probably, probably is one, six, eight, nine as the numbers, uh, one, nine, eight, six. I have no idea why it was like that, but I got there. Uh, this is just like the code we saw in the ambidex room. Moon, sun, star. Different code, but it looks really similar. I think this probably opens the safe. Moon, sun, star. Can I just look at it again? Flashing light? No. Moon, sun, star. I have no idea how you get to the secret. I assume it's something to do with the, with the beds. But I don't know, like where you even do anything with those. A safe. True. Let's see the passcode. You can... Oh, this is insane. I can make notes on the screen. That's a game changer. Arc. Safe. Quarters. Moon. Sun. Star. Moon. Sun. Star. Moon. Sun. Star? What? That's what it asked for. Oh, no, it's not. I put the moon in the wrong spot. That's embarrassing. I'm failing the basic square in the square holes now. It opened. What good is a victory dance when there's no one there to see it? I'm lonely. That's why you kill people and then Fortnite dance. Wait a minute, if I look through the stuff in here without telling Fi and Alice, they might be suspicious later. Took something when we weren't looking. Yeah, those two, those are two bad sides I really don't want to be on. I think I'll just go get them before I go through it. That was easy enough. Did you open the Sigma? Yeah, who else could have? Why didn't you tell us sooner? Forget about it, Alice. Let's just see what's in there. He like got you immediately. What's this thing? A map. It says floor A. We're gonna look at it more later. There's more stuff in the safe. Why don't we get all of it before we start going through it? Looks like we've got a card. Make that two cards. This is one of those cards for the AB rooms. See, it says Ambidex room right there. So it does, then we can use these to open the AB rooms. But how are we supposed to get back there? Door to the warehouse is still locked. I think the answer to the question is in the safe. Check out this note. Uh, where are the braille options? 
Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I care, it keep you from going in and out of them. Any color bracelet can go through them and as many people as you like, but, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a free reign, a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond it, it warrant lets you go back until you've solved the puzzle. So once we can get out of the crew quarters, we can head back to the warehouse. Correct. Yes. And this key is how we're going to get out of here. So this key will open the door at the end of the hallway. Let's go. Wait, what about this book on the top of the safe? Schrodinger's cat. It's a book about cats, but do we have time for that right now? Sorry, it's the sort of, I guess you could call it a tick. I've had it since I was young. Wish I was just kitten, but I can't control it. It's not dangerous though. You're perfectly fine. Not dangerous. The book's called Schrodinger's Cat. Don't you mean Schrodinger's Cat? Oh, you've heard of it? I think it'd be harder to find someone who hasn't. For real? Do you know what it is too, Alice? Of course I do. I was just wondering why this book is here. So what is Schrodinger's Cat? It's a quantum physics thought experiment. The book probably discusses the principles the experiment talks about in more depth. See, Erwin Rudolf Joseph Alexander Schrodinger was a scholar of the theoretical physics in Austria. He was born in 1887, and uh, is this going to be a long story? Yes, thought so. How about we talk about it later then? I mean, we just found the key that'll get us out of here. Do you have a point? Yes, he does. We should leave now. All right, let's go. Do I not get to do my uh, try to find the uh, hard one? The what's it called? I don't even remember. I don't even know how to do it, so maybe there's no point. I have the key. We should get going. Never mind. I'm not allowed. Uh, let's go. Key in the hole. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. It's a little, like, lower tech. I feel like this zero just has less money behind them than the other zeros. Uh, like the previous zero, you would go in and you would go like, Oh, fancy intercom system, whole ship replica. It's just like the Titanic. Look at this touch screen. I have to put my hand on the thing and there's bombs literally inside of me. And this time, we kind of just have like the homeless great value version of Zero, where it's like, oh, uh, we rented out a warehouse studio, I guess. You walk in, uh, I have this little sock puppet that looks like a rabbit. I'm gonna pretend like he's AI, and we use like a little projector that I stole from a school. And, uh,. And I had enough money to buy some paint to paint on the wall a little bit and make the door yellow. And that's all we've got. Made our way down the hallway and at the end waiting for us. Uh, everybody? Looks like the gang's all here, what's up? We left our room and ended up here. Sigma, let me see that map you found earlier. Right? How convenient. Maybe this is high tech. I'm not sure. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Floor A. No matter which door we took, all of them led back here. True. Wait, no. Not wait. True. So we found ours in the crew quarters. Maybe we should sit down for a bit, exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. I agree. No more information exchange. Whenever I was looking up information on, uh, on 999 before the first stream, I needed to find out who the main character was so I can make the thumbnail. And so, you know, eventually found out, oh, main character's Junpei. So I look up 999 Junpei. Um, what that what came with Junpei was a picture of the this old guy. Like the other floor. Uh, so I just them? assumed that the old guy was Junpei, but he's just not. <laughs> and you know, Clover is like slightly younger than uh, than Ten Myoji, so it didn't line up at all. And it, I feel kind of stupid for like not clicking at all. The one in the middle is blue, and the one on the right is red. Unless Junpei's been through These it. Chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. Oh, I can choose my path like all the way through it looks like. You're not like locked to certain groups for certain timings. Yeah, 
just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. He doesn't have the fashion of Junpei either. Is something wrong, Alice? You... Oh. No, I'm I've got fine, memories. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers... ETSD. <laughs> numbers? The time left? Looks like two hours, six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is a much smaller Tell amount of time to get through this. Oh, that's miserable. Choice that gotta head back. Clover, how about you show him that note we found? Oh, oh we have to talk huh? for two hours. Something about supplementary rule? Because we found a note just True, we did too. <laughs> what do you know? It's almost like this game's been planned out. Uh, uh, open the door, hop through as much as you like. True, true, true. <laughs> That's true. Then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. We can. I think he's saying we have you don't think it was an offer? What's the point of that key card? True, we have to go ab. We found some two. A big six, then one for each ab room. Let's head back to the warehouse. I agree. Uh, so I didn't notice that she had a little bird around her neck. Huh? Didn't like notice that. Here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sound about right. <laughs> Asshole. You kind of deserve it at this point, Dio. All you've done is satisfied old turd. complain well, the whole time, to... which I'm not saying that you don't have a right to I'm complain, seeing as how you were kidnapped and thrown in a room. But you're just obviously the most miserable person right, here. Fine. And it's annoying. I'm going. You've kind of got the Santa spot right now, although I don't think you have any of the redeemability that I almost gave Santa. I think you're just kind of like way worse off than anybody has ever been. Miserable to listen to. Opened. Congratulations, we've made it back. I don't need to see the path the whole way through, please. Crew quarters, true. Watch the slow animation through all of these. So, this just as the note said, we had no trouble getting in here. That means yep. we can go to the infirmary or the lab. Yeah, we can check out any of them. Okay. Hey, look, Grandpa! They got a poster of a lady in here. It looks like the ones you got back home. Hmm. Wait, are they related? I think we're talking at least 14. I didn't pick up on the fact that they were related. Agree. I sure would like to take it home with me. Fortunately, I don't. He's a collector the of the fine arts. He runs a collection, a museum. Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary games, and if Quark was calling Tenmyoji grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Go, oh, buddy. Sigma's unlocked amnesia too, or Phi was just in his brain. My, uh, I wonder. You mean the ones you keep in the locked cabinet? The, the, shh, you're being too Man, loud, Quark. you have to say these things quiet. Keep it a secret. Why'd you give Quark the goofy hat? Thank you for showing me that we are outside the warehouse door. Warehouse A. Do milkmen go comedy? Oh no, are we gonna have to like have a check-in with zero every time? Just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, Bio, my temper's got a hair Bio. trigger, and you're awfully close to it. So it's hard to be threatening whenever you? you're you. Otherwise, well, you really need me to spell it. Please, out. forget it. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Namely, <laughs> Battle Pass, <laughs> AB rooms, but got six together. Goes. I have six. That doesn't really matter. I was driving back to my apartment earlier before stream uh, because, you know, doing but stuff in real life and that rooms. kind of thing. Didn't I tell you? Um, and on my way back, I had to like, I had to pee bad. 
And, but I didn't really know my way. I have like a set path through the area, but I don't know the area like all that well yet. Um, and so I was driving and Google wanted to take me off the set path and I had been through a similar situation before. Um, the similar set path was a road that had like four to five speed bumps like straight up back to back to back to back to back so you would go like uh technically the speed limit was like 30 or 40 miles an hour i can't remember but you couldn't get up to 40 miles an hour at all because these speed bumps were all throughout the road in the way so google just like assumed that it would be the faster route but uh, it didn't actually mean anything because you were going 10 miles, slow down, 10 miles, slow down, 10 miles, slow down. And then, you know, the cars start packing up uh, because everybody's having to like slam on their brakes and stuff. And you're trying to get somewhere. Uh, but then, like, you know, I have to go pee real bad. Uh, and it seems like the enemy of the bladder in the car is a bump, right? And... I'm gonna be honest, the road wasn't exactly, like, clear of uh, potholes or dips or anything like that. So at that point, I had already been, like, thrown up and down, up and down, like, 27 different ways. And so I get to these speed bumps, and you, you have to, like, have an iron will. Each speed bump is, like, a Sisyphean task as you like slowly climb over with the front wheels up and then down and the back side uh, of the car goes up and down and then you do that like five more times by the end of it i had basically become a monk with the kind of meditation inner perspective that i had to gain to keep the urine within myself Okay, Quark and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tenmyoji, then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion about who'd go into which door. But Fai and I found ourselves heading toward the leftmost room. Uh, no, don't go in the elevator. It'll drop and you won't be able to hold the urine in anymore because of the uh, change in gravity pressure. I don't actually don't know what does it. Maybe it's because it takes your mind off of it. I'm not sure. I guess it could be like a gravity, like, or like a pressure kind of thing. Because all of a sudden you're going up and then going down. And so it like up and then, you know, if you like... I think there's a thing where I saw this before on like a short or something. If you take like a glass bottle that's just not open or whatever, uh, shake it up real fast and then immediately hit it down, it'll break the glass directly out from under the bottle and then it will like shatter all over the floor. I think that's what the bumps in the road are trying to do to your bladder. So you like get jolted upward, you fly up, head hits the roof of the car. Uh, roof of the car immediately uh, newtons back on your head, uh, reaction or whatever, get shoved back down, bladder falls straight out of you, cracked open, uh, urine everywhere. 45 minutes remain until Amadex game polling. And that's the world that we live in? I'm not sure why they do it. Game's on time limit too. Nothing, just there's no one's here. Of course there isn't anyone here. Let's get inside. Right? Okay. Once I get inside, I assume it's going to be starting the next puzzle. So I will probably wrap up around here. We did a whole two puzzles. This looks just like the of supposedly about 65. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the true ending on this one. I, I'll probably have to look it up That's at some point. Because if this game's as long as you say, Danny, it'll be impressive. The Ambidex game will now begin. To start your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until... Never mind, I cannot save right here. I can now? I guess I just pressed the start button. Yes. We'll be okay. That's the point. Sigma does not know how to read. Me neither. Thank you, Rabbit. 
A B game? Is silly? Not 100% sure how long you have, but I think it was around 15 to 20 hours. And you're not even. Did you get the true ending? Or did you get like one solid end of the game ending to do that? Oh. It's not like this is a battle royale. Battle royale? A one -on -one battle. Mono a mono? mono, or mono a woman Two or three endings of the 644 in 20 hours is concerning. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? Maybe once you get to the 645th, you finally well, unlock the true I ending after know, getting into a coffin or whatever? Yeah. Yep. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Alas and went through the Siam door, didn't they? Oh, my choices like matter. That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Alas. Wait, no. And it goes the other way too. Alas's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Please no. Am I about to kill Alice already? Uh, please? Oh, what? we can be friends? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Zero three? First, I I've been saying Zero three, three the whole time. It didn't click that it would just be the third. The the you should see a I'm clicking all ally. You guys have to do is pick. Options? It's a little complicated. The so last nonary game was all about being friends, so I made this I'll be friends. Okay, so ally, ally, plus two, betray, if uh, we betray an opponent allies, then we get three, but ally, ally, we both get two. I'm going ally. And you, uh, get a nice one. I believe in Alice. She knows a thing or two about the nonary game. I bet, like, if I... I'm so happy I chose Alice, actually. I think this is my best shot. I don't trust anybody but her at this point. The previous linkage to the Nonary games, I think, has me set. I think you'll start unlocking endings more quickly once things get rolling. You don't have to play the very beginning again so you can skip a lot. That makes sense. I, I did the flowchart thing to get the true ending in uh, uh, 999, but it took me a long time to get there. That's why I had like the eight hour stream. The serves them right outcome? I think there is a lot to feel guilty about. There's two of us here, so there's like a lot of life going on. Nice. Boring. Definitely don't want double betray. That would be the worst one. I understand. So go ahead and tell me if they choose ally or betray, and I can help you. Yes. That makes sense. I kind of wish that I was on a solo team then. Go lone wolf. Sigma. Sigma male goes alone. Uh, true. We can wait. I really don't need to hear your voice anymore. Stop asking questions, Sigma. You're making this worse for all of us. Go ahead. I've already decided. I don't need the 30 minutes. About the AB game? Yeah. Should we choose ally or betray? This is really kind of an interesting game. Seems I agree. Like it's, based on the it's all set up. 
Was that? You've never heard of it? I haven't heard of anything. My name is Sigma, and I've never read a book in my life. I've never watched a TV show in my life. I don't know what music is. It's a thought experiment. Please, game teach me everything you know. And by everything, I do mean everything. I have forgotten how to breathe. And banana have committed a serious crime. No! I'm voting for Just banana. The first names I thought of. They don't mean Fortnite anything. skins? Anyway. Apple and Banana are caught by the police I can't and believe sent off it. to separate cells far away from one another. In other words, there's no way for them to contact each other. Right. They're not like telepaths or something. They cannot transmit so and receive? You following me? Although we are telepaths, kind of. Certainly. So, a so is Alice. Up. Must be. He visits each cell and tells them both exactly the same thing. He looks... Like oh, this. it's the same guy. both clam up if that's what you want. We're gonna have to put you both in the slammer for two years if you do. No. You flip on your pal over there. Tell me everything. I can get your sentence reduced to one year. That means you're uh. both serve 15, but that ain't you. But if they both do it, then they both serve 15. He gets one year, and you get to spend 15 years eating government cheese. You're probably cheese might not be bad. I don't know. Well, I can shave off a little time for saving the trouble, but you'll still both do 10 years. So, Hulk, what's it gonna be? Gonna, gonna be 10 years. You're gonna keep that trap shut. Of course, I told your partner the same thing I just told you. I wonder if you're keeping my trap shut. Keep the back. No rush. I'm a of time to think about. real trustworthy individual, and I would never rat somebody yeah. out. I swear. What did you do? Say you were an apple or banana. Hmm. In my erstwhile criminal associate. If my erstwhile criminal associate Banana is going to keep his mouth shut, it's impressive the way that Sigma speaks without not knowing, like, a single thing. Then the best choice for me is to spill the beans. Uh, Drew Elody, I agree. That way I only serve one year, but what if he confesses too? Then the smart thing for, uh, would be for me to do the same. After all, if he cuts a deal and I don't, then I'll spend 15 years in prison. If I confess, I can shave five years off of that. Seems like the best choice is always going to be to confess. Interesting, but you're forgetting something. Which that is? Banana will be thinking the same thing. So right. you'll both confess, and you'll both end up serving ten years. Do you get it? Yes. If you both trusted each other, then neither of you would have served more than two years. True. But because you both made the decision based on your own. Is Fi like more of a uh, an ally kind of person? I honestly kind of expected her to be more uh, rat them out so we can words, leave kind of person. Logical decision leads not only to a less I've like just unjustifiably assumed the worst of Fi the whole way through. First thing I thought whenever she hopped out of the elevator was, oh, she's going to lock me in here. How kind. And now she's like, uh, maybe we should ally it. I'm thinking, oh, I really thought you'd be a confess kind of person. Let's betray. Oh, ally betrayal. I get it. It's not Ambedresk. It's Apple and Banana. Apple Banana game. So is the BP the Banana Pear game? But if we don't trust each other in the long run, it won't benefit either of us? Yeah, but this is... Let's say for a moment all nine of us are on one team. Who will uh -huh. we be playing against? Zero? Right, so we can assume the nine of us are fighting Zero in the AB game. So everybody needs to ally? What would we want to do to beat him? <sighs> Just look at the point totals. Say we all picked ally, what would our total points be? Uh, 18? 18 okay. points? Now let's say one of the pairs chooses Betray. The pair who picked Betray will get 3 points each, so in total they'll have 6. But the solo they betrayed will have 2 points subtracted, so the total gain for that game would be only 4 points. The other two groups would choose ally for that round. So for the other teams, you'll get 6 each, which will give you 2 times 6 is 12. Plus four, 16 points. So ally so is the best. What does that tell you? It is the be friends forever game. It still holds up. The zero is being true to form. Even if one person chooses betray, the total points we get goes down. In this game, if each individual acts for the benefit of the whole group, everyone benefits. But if everyone starts looking out for themselves, it'll impact the group negatively. True. And eventually, it'll impact them negatively too. If all of us choose betray, then the group gets zero points. Ultimately, right. nobody benefits. Not even the individual. In other words, selfish but logical decisions hurt everyone. And they hurt you. True. Why we should be friends? What you're saying is that I should pick ally? No. 
I mean the opposite. Oh, I do it. Make the most logical choice here. The only option is betray. I knew it. I do it. No, I didn't. It's not the prisoner's solution. It's the prisoner's dilemma. It's the prisoner's dilemma. Even though there's an outcome where everybody's happy, the choice you'd have to make for that outcome isn't the rational one. It's heartbreaking because they aren't thinking of that. I understand. It, but you can't. But I'm going to. I believe. Fi, you don't believe? If we choose Ally, and Alice does too, then yes, it'll be great. All three of us will get two points. That would be ideal, obviously. True. And it would help everybody, but... What if Alice chooses Betray? We'll be out of luck. <laughs> right. And if that happens, we're screwed. So... We can still figure something out. 20 minutes. Hold Unless up, you've be already been talking Alice for 10 minutes? Ally, we don't have a choice. Talk less, five. I'm ready to click something. ally. That means we have to make the rational choice. No, that's the whole. It would be great to make the right choice. We we can we can just click the ally button. Is that easy? Just say we're screwed. If you don't mind telling me, what did you mean by that? I'm guessing something happens if our BP hits zero. I mean, the way you said it sure makes it seem like something's going to happen. Do you know something? You do know something. What are you hiding? You know, there's been something weird about you from the moment we met. How'd you oh, know my name? Off. This is getting old. Just like say why then? I don't care if it's getting ancient. This is important. I don't know you, but you seem to know me. The only explanation I can think of that makes any kind of sense is that you're working what with about Zero. You? Are you working with Zero? I don't think so. You can't just say nah -uh after getting hit with hard evidence. You're too calm. You wake up trapped in some kind of twisted game and it doesn't even phase you? He was yelling. He was like, where am I? What the hell? And he he went the full yelling route. It asked you the same the thing? Talking about you. You asked, you answered the question with a Maybe question. You it's you. You're the problem. Where did that come from? I already told you I've never seen you before in my life. Nice. Sigma. Sigma? Our time's up. We're this dead already? I already got an ending? Congratulations, before, I think. Before... Well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. What is going on? I don't know. Is this, like, completely different from what you've seen, Danny? You know we're about to die, but you still stuck with me. So... I'm dying. Thank you, Sigma. Anytime. Goodbye. Congratulations, everyone. We've beaten the game. This wasn't even a thing? Well, <laughs> what the? Was that on the moon? What is happening? Was that in the desert? What's wrong? I saw, saw the explosion. I think there's a bomb somewhere in this building. I'm not sure, but it sounded like it was on a timer. You and I were trying to stop it, but we couldn't do anything. And Whoa, Sigma, calm down. What are you talking about? I just received so much information. You have no idea. You might be transmitting. I don't think you know, you're real. You said it hurt. Maybe I'm not real. AB room too. It didn't just hurt. It felt like it was going to right? explode. I think so. Rest a little. Maybe I could just lay my head on your lap? Huh? Maybe I could just mm? Maybe on your lap? Mm? If you don't mind, mm? I've, I shouldn't have worried. Anything with the thighs involved? Mm? Fine, I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I'd seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it just a hallucination b brought on by Shrez? Or maybe it was a strange drug that dosed with me while I was out? It seemed real though. Was it a premonition? I had to stifle a bark of laughter at the thought. Seeing the future, this wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel. This was real life. Things like that didn't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the nonary game was probably getting to me more than Fi thought. I was tired and I was emotional. The hallucination was strange, but re really it was perfectly understandable. But what if I wasn't losing and what if I was fine? What if I hadn't? What if it hadn't been a hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. Okay, can we choose the option now? 10 minutes? Five minutes. Never mind, 5 More minutes. Players.
I wonder if like we're the only ones left and they were hoping that they could get out early, but uh, we're sitting here still working on a uh, two answer question. Any non-voting parties will automatically ally. What? Do you need a translator? If you don't vote fast enough, then it'll set your vote to ally. Make sense? Or do I... You plan to pick not. ally? It doesn't matter. We're already in here, though. So we might as well figure out what we're gonna do. I'm picking ally. What's it gonna be, Sigma? I just punched my microphone. I'm so sorry. Ally or betray. I didn't mean to hit you directly across the head. I hope you're not dead. Made it pretty clear that we should choose betray. Well, I, say sh I just said we didn't really have a choice. That is the same thing. It's completely different. The former. We is don't have a choice. Opinion. The latter is just passive information. We do have a choice. Yeah. Why did you ask me? So we never really finished our conversation from earlier. You said that we'd be screwed. What did you mean by that? Is something going to happen? We die. We die. True. Our BP drops to zero, we die. Wasn't that kind we of already explained? Activate. Are you yeah. sure? How do you know that? Zero never said anything know. about it. Swear, oh, never mind. We don't I know. Just... I know somehow. I got this There's feeling. This you ever have a hunch, like... Sigma? That's what'll happen. You ever have a hunch that you're gonna like move forward and then fall down the stairs and crack your head on the concrete? Let me the same line when I asked you why you knew my name. How can you know all these things? There's no way on earth. Let's get the flashback again. You don't need to flashbang me every single time. I think my retinas uh, have been burned. What? Uh, the visual of Phi has been flashed directly into my eyes. If you look me in the eyes, you can see the outline. What? What the hell are you talking about? You sounded like a crazy person the first time, too. What can I say? I haven't naturally. Then you haven't? Seriously, Sigma, are you okay? I think there's something wrong with you. No, I think I'm okay. This was wrong. If I was supposed to be acting strange on me, instead here she was asking if I was okay. What if I wasn't just her? What if I was losing it, too? I groaned. My head felt awful. It was like someone had thrown my brain in a food processor and hit puree. One minute remains until... until there's no way it's already been 40 minutes. Hey, the boredom that the other team is supposed to be feeling? Pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine, I'll do it. She's betray, right? Nope. Yeah, what? what? Alright, take it away. 30 seconds. I'm choosing ally, please? I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath, this was it. I ran over my options one last time, there's only one possible choice. There's not one possible choice, it's ally. Oh, I did get to choose. Vote has been recorded, please wait. I'm not betraying Round Alice. Of the results will be Thank you I can't wait to see that I literally just lost the game. Now opening. Appreciate it. We did it. We beat the game. Ambidex edition. It's fine. I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? Did you hear anything I said? Yeah, I ignored it. Yeah, I was. And yeah, I did. I want to believe it's in Alice. Really a rational decision. Yeah, it's not rational. We have to think about this all logically. If we follow through emotion, nothing can get done. That's why we should kill people. Yo, it's much up? easier that way. There's no reason hey, to talk like that. I get the idea. Let's go. We'll find out if you Alice is actually. cool. I believe. The route that we were going, Betray, that's where we get blowed up. I know it. It obviously knows that you're just choosing ally. Anybody that plays this game is choosing ally. Like, whenever you get into these games, it wants you to feel good about, like, choosing the good guy option, but nobody's not choosing the good guy option unless you're, like, going specifically for the bad guy. Drawings? Ally, ally. There's no way. Dio and Quark allied. Alice betrayed. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Clover betrayed. There's, there's no way. I thought Clover would know better. <laughs> to be honest, I can't believe Clover betrayed. She's been through this before. 
And then I believed in Alice too, because like Alice knows Clover and surely Clover would tell Alice about, oh, we won because we could like work together and stuff. But apparently, no, we're going to split off, Alice. Alice, what went wrong? That's insane. And now, like, I have to trust Dio and Quark over Alice and Clover? There's no way. At least I know, like, Tin Myoji. Tin Myoji raised Quark, right? Uh, Dio, I think he's just lucky. So... I mean, he's still on, he's still like good, but like, I think it was accidentally. Um, and then Luna, Luna's good. I can't believe Clover. I've lost all hope. There's no way. I'm not even upset about me losing. I don't need the lettuce. This changes the, oh, this is what determines. Uh. What the hell Excuse is this? Me? I just made the most rational choice. Uh -huh. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose the I hate you. Anyone who thinks otherwise is well, an idiot. Why? Why did you do it? Same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choosing? So that we could both gain points? Why haven't you heard of the prisoner's dilemma? The best solution is for all of us to choose ally? Yes. Cambridge chose trade to yeah, but like we still would have been pretty solid. I know about the prisoner's dilemma, but everyone picking allies is reasonable outcome. Just look at the results for this. What do they tell you? They tell me that you suck. You're part of the problem. You're pretty tenderhearted guy. Trust somebody you just met. Well, that's insane. Would be a little more well, case. I mean, like technically, like I kinda knew of you because I played the previous game. Does that count? Was that a it was. I'm gonna continue making the stupid choice. <laughs> Especially if I end up with Dio and Quark, I've now completely changed who I want to be hanging out with. Set my jaw and stomped away from Alice and Fi. My hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stung. Why had she done it? Quark, Dio, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Thank you. I'm so happy you chose Ally. No problem. Ten Myoji. I gotta hang out with Ten well, Myoji. To tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted oh, I knew it. Friend. Quark. Quark what? is the good guy. Good Mr. job, Dio Quark. Tell him. So that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, let them know, Quark. You. We need to separate the allies from the betrayers. Is this true? No, that's not what happened at all. It is? Oh, never mind. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. It was a joke? Yeah. Sick joke? Man, he really had me going there. I really surprised you, huh? You could say that. So you really were planning to choose ally all along? Thank you. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? You would think so, yeah, huh? Exactly. Although Dio still sounds a little thrown back by him? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. Don't even try it, Clover. I know you. I'm disappointed. I, I don't know you anymore. Expect you to be so nice about it. That's insane, Clover. Looked like there had been some sort of argument between K Clover and Ten Myoji, although whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we have? Well, you said round one. If there's a that round would imply? one, there's likely a round two. Besides, I agree. Didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get nine BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> also true. Yeah, you're right. There will be a second round. They know how to when? count. Congratulations. Clover K and Alice are probably feeling really happy about this one. Why not? The voting happens when an A B gate. Oh. Um, they're already on right, so let's close. The Apodex Round 2 Moon Cards. Moon cards. <laughs> Can't use these cards since yeah, they got sun, so there's three rounds. Moon, sun, and star? So, how many 
many times do we play the AB game? Hundreds. As many times as you need to. That makes sense. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. No. I've already gotten used to the like ugliest models, so we're okay. I do really miss the sprites, though. That's okay. Do we get food? There's no time limit in this one. I'm sure if it's just you, but you hear static. I appreciate you for saying that. That means I need to reset the audio. Do you know how long it's been there for? I don't know why it happens, but from time to time it just does. So... Uh, I have to reset it every now and then. That should hopefully fix it. Let me know. Can I ask I you know. something? Just notice so you're not sure. Don't think long. That's good. It's rules about who can go into the secondary doors. Like you have to have three people yeah. exactly. What about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Yeah. It's good now? That's good. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that. All of us can leave. That's the goal. Maybe if Clover would have remembered that the entire final nonary game was built around everyone leaving. What do you mean? You can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. True. Explain it now. Just you. What? There's a sort of sketchy check to see if the right people are here. Uh-huh. But the reds that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning that paper. So it's scanning. Ding, ding, ding. As long as the scanner sees the right It doesn't matter how many people there are! Okay. Do these things even oh, come off? They do indeed. You can chop them? There's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door in this game. Nice. Second is to die. What's the second? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second? He has to way? process the question. He is an AI model. I think you already know. What? Wow. The real back, the hands up, the Mr. Beast position. Please, what if he just died right now? It would be kind of funny. You die. The reveal wasn't as funny. I was hoping for him to get stabbed by the bracelet and just drop. You know what an electrocardiogram is. Technically, of course. It's a machine that graphs the ele Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Right. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away, the lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. We've learned. Now stops. we can die and leave. Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something, going the undead route, like nonary games with zombies would be crazy. You'll be disobeying the rules. Die, take off bracelet, leave. Remind you what happens when you do that. Die in uh somebody's front lawn. If you're lucky, you shoot her. You might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. <laughs> Oops. I guess it's not gonna be very <laughs> True, it it seems like it's gonna be me dying because of people like Clover and Alice. Next round. Guess I should remember K2. I hate that guy. What do you mean? I, I think he's the bad guy. Might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? I would say so. I'd say it's either K or Dio being the Does annoying the evil guy. Everyone? <laughs> Obviously not Quark. If Quark ends up being the bad guy, I think I will what? Uh, cry. Not out of sadness, but out of like mm. pure disappointing. I guess I can tell you why. What a villain. Anyone Three-year-old child. True. Correct. Murder. 
Pi had been right, but how had she known before Zero told us? I see. If I Sigma and I only have one BP, that means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. All right. Quick moment to go over everything in my head. It uh, died. We would continue until someone opened the number nine door. No rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through. Then it was possible for everyone to escape. Secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so long as you had the right bracelets. Bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building or if your heart stopped. Your BP hit zero, the needles in your bra bracelet would activate killing you. Uh -oh. Nice. What? The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have I been did. three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through... I'm gonna go with Clover and Zion, give her a... Uh, but wait, you've piece of my mind. The colors change. Oh, we're gonna be different now. Are we still with five? So am I. Me too. Yellow, mm. yellow, it yellow. Looks like the color wasn't the. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our. I was a solo last round, but now. Oh, it's interesting. Hit. Really? Mine still says solo. It looks like Luna and I both. You deserve changed. it. Although I've gone from solo to pair. True. I'm the opposite. My pair to solo, pair so to we are solo. no longer with five. No change here. I'm. I get. Are you two magenta? magenta too? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Quark, Clover, and I are cyan. I think Mr. I'm with Pan Alice. And, pair, and Miss Clover is a solo. Looks like it. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates closed. What's crazy is I'm gonna go with Clover and then also try to ally again. Literally gonna die. I feel like Ten Miyoji might switch. I don't think he's gonna ally again. He got screwed over hard. Now, with all of that explained, I hope maybe Clover has a guilty conscience. We may never meet again. What? Well, what happened to Santa? Is Santa not Santa? Is Snake? Is Snake okay? I mean, you guys are good for me. How did Clover end up back? Never see you guys again. What? Did you really think I was gonna cry? You deserve it. <laughs> As if I'd cry over you, dummies. <laughs> you dick. Sigma believed. <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. I appreciate it. Maybe Watch over me. See you again someday. My little guardian Coming angel. piece of shit if i could just get my hands on that little fucker i'd squeeze him to fair also it does sound gross um what happens now we have we to make a choice a while until the chromatic doors open 42 minutes we should go and crazy that they make you wait for maybe there's a vent or an hour every time miss something i concur it's the opposite you are not under a time limit He's gonna play you There's out no by making around. you as bored as possible. Where do they go to the bathroom? Because they're definitely stuck here for like hours on hours. Do they just find a five corner? Minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open them. Any objections? No. There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Where the hell did I end up here? Why me? As I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game and pissed anyone off. At least not this bad. I didn't know anybody any money. My family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. At least if I was, I didn't know yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group server? No. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes. <laughs> but it was just the one time. And she was the one who went after me. I'm sure that makes it, uh, easier. Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the Anonary game, I sure couldn't see it. So Sigma is, like, younger than Junpei was. 
Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blur blurry, but they were there. Okay, we're going back to the backstory. December 25th, 2028, early morning, California desert. The moon was beautiful. I just finished writing a paper due that day and was heading to my car from the research building. Parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas day. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There was three reasons. My home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I understand. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. I understand more than I'd like to admit. The professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. Sorry, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. Odd guy was that one cold email, try as I might. I couldn't even get in touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. At any rate, I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper. Perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chugged to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. I slid into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. I twisted the key. Congratulations, nothing happened. Car went bad too, have to get one from the library. I'm sure they'll let you rent. I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. Uh, and again, it's really not working. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal and fell silent. It's not working. You stupid piece of shit. I screamed and pouted on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Somebody knocking on the window. Name Zero. Never mind. Convenient gas canisters. Clawed at the door and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. it wasn't long before I realized the truth. Open. Is locked. What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. You'll be okay. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rear view mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car, spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car that was getting gas can. He kind of stole the whole outfit, Zero the Third did. My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. More of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. I thought he would have like a different look to him. Last of my strength failed and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. And then, uh, the elevator. Or room or whatever. Why is this happening to me? It's been a few minutes wallowing in my misery. I figured it deserved uh, at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding whining wasn't going to get me anywhere, like Kay had said. We needed to at least try and find another way out, so I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Um, we will go to... I guess we can just go to the crew quarters again, I mean... We've already been there, might as well. And then once I get settled in here, I am probably going to save it. I was hoping to get to the point where I could choose the, uh the next room but i think i'll just wait until next time because it's been like three hours now which is my you know within my usual time limit oh sigma perfect timing oh i was about to just start reading again save and there's multiple save slots no way one two three four five six seven eight nine uh so at least nine endings are like significantly different endings um well, I think that's uh, where I'm going to wrap it for now. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I feel like commentary was a little weak today, so I apologize for that. I will be uh, better next time. Uh, Sunday, I will be back. I don't know with what. I don't think I'm going to continue Dredge. I think it's about time to move on from that. I'm considering something one-off, maybe getting over it, or like the climbing game or whatever. 
but I think it'll be good to have like a one-off stream or two before I think about adding uh, another series. If it is a series, it'll be a short one, like two to three streams max. Um, and we'll figure out what to do from there. Uh, let me read names. Uh, thank you, Danny. Thank you, Elodie. Thank you, Terror. Thank you, Toonie. Thank you, Jury. Thank you, Koi. And I believe that is everybody for today. Uh, Sunday, uh, mystery stream for now. I'll have something figured out before then. Uh, Wednesday, Resident Evil, probably last episode. And then Friday is from here on until I finish this game will be Virtue's Last Reward. Um, there is another game after this one, but I don't know if I will be playing it or not. I have heard that it's a little uh, mixed reception-wise, so we'll see. But either way, uh, thank you all for watching. I will uh, see you all again on Sunday. Uh, and uh, goodbye.